there, I'm Fia, and welcome to a little experiment of mine. I stream on Twitch under the username Fiamma, and uh, I've decided, as of 2022, to see what it looks like uploading my VODs to YouTube for you to enjoy, maybe reach out to a new audience. So, here is my VOD from the 2nd of January, 2022, uh, where we did some transmog hunting, we talked about pizza and the best way to enjoy your leftovers, and uh, also how much I hate Scarlet Halls. <laughs> if you want to catch me live, I'm on Twitch from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, that's Brisbane time, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. You can catch me playing mostly World of Warcraft and occasionally some variety as well. Uh, I will hope to see you then. Hi. Welcome to 2022. Oh shit, I forgot to have to Whoops! There we go. Quick to start captions. Captions start? Good. Hello. It fear. It fear. Let us do a thing. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. How is everybody? How was your first day of the new year? Was it great and wonderful and fun? Mine was fairly productive. We, uh, we did um, grocery shopping. <laughs> I know, right? Super exciting. Um, but no, it was good. It was good. Got shit done. Did things. Took a bit of a break. Played a round of Mario Party with Jess, which was hilarious. It's great. It was awesome. Today, on the other hand, I've slept the entire day because my body is just like, nope, I'm done. Goodbye. It's like, oh, thank you. I didn't need that at all. Like, didn't didn't need to be awake. That's fine. Well done, BC. On first, Yori has last. Hello, Jackie. Dupe has second. Hello. Uh, Nova has grabbed Thrid. Uh, Landa with 69th. Hello, Nano. Oh, yeah, what's been happening? Much of the much of the same. Nothing exciting, really. <laughs> all all the same. It fear. Hello, Dunno. Hello, X. Vlog. How goes Sunday? That isn't a Sunday. What? It's Sunday. What do you mean Sunday that isn't a Sunday? I'm so confused. What does that mean? Hello, Shadow. Well, hydrate. New Year, same me! Exactly, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Precisely. Uh, hello, Chaos. Doing well. How are you? I won a giveaway for the new store kitty. Also, a hard mode run at Tazvesh to get the gig lighter. Oh, well done, Yori. Congratulations. My first N95 mask. Bit hard to breathe. Good experience. I'm not sure how people can exercise or anything. Um, they, they, they guess they figure out a way. Um, <laughs> uh, he's in my bust of my ankle, I had to call out for my- oh no! Oh no, well I hope your ankle heals up sooner rather than later. New Year's Day has been spent staring outside at the storm. There was some lightning too. Wonderful, I hope you're safe. I hope everyone near you is safe, Shiva. Hello, Lissity. We have three more cheese to get 30. Well done! Congratulations, Shiva, well done. Big holiday tomorrow? Oh, well it's still Sunday, it's just that we get a magic Monday. <laughs> oh dear, okay, a bit hot down here in Victoria. Oh dear, 39 degrees. I miss winter. It has been raining all day. Like on and off, we've been having showers all day. Um, so I assume that the degrees in Brisbane is uh, chiller than that. 24. 24. Rub it in. <laughs> I haven't been outside, so I'm fine. Uh, exercising in an N95 is fine. Actually makes cold air a lot more bearable and helps properly regulate breathing. Hey, wonderful. There you go. Good news from Jack. 70 to 90k winds, coupled with all day snow. Actually look pretty neat watching the snow dance around. I can imagine. I can imagine. Have you heard of Second Sunday? <laughs> what about Second Sunday? Oh dear. Okay. You may notice I'm not on fear. You may notice I'm not on Fear. Um, so I've realized that the, what I need from Scarlet Halls on Fear is a tabard that can drop on literally any character and a trash drop that can literally drop 
on any character. So I'm still working on Fia's percentage, just also getting up other character, other classes' percentage while I'm at it. Be, like, you know, multiple birds, one stone, you know, the old, yep, mm-hmm, good. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of thinking we do. I'm not going to keep, like, I'm going to keep going until fears that are, like, I, I feel like, look, if I get, I'm trying to decide if I get one of the two drops, if I get the tabard or the, the trash drop I'm looking for, do I stop and move on to the next one? Or do I push through and just try to get her to 100%? And I feel like maybe we try to push through and just cross another dungeon off the list. Takes a bit to get used to though. Forgot to take my meds last night. I've been awake since 3 a.m. Oh no, this year already feels familiar. Oh dear. Oh dear. Can we have some of that snow, please? 20 Wind Rider. No. No. Uh, I do have it. It does fly. And it's like purple and like a. a yellowy, golden sort of colour. Hmm, 33F here, so quite cold. Yeah, I do not know how to convert those. Apologies. Um, um, hey, a nurse. Happy New Year. Absolutely. Hello, hello, and hello, little. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Christmas go well. Apart from just getting stitches in his baby hand. Yeah. Da 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 da, baby da 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 da. Thank you, Apathy. And thank you, X, for the conversion. 0.5 of a degree. That is indeed quite chilly. Indeed. Dark Phoenix. No. Baby. No. Da 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 da. <laughs> uh, what happened? Uh, Jas injured himself. He's fine. He just, he took a chunk out of his finger and had to get stitches, but he'll, he's, he's fine. Okay, 32, is he ready? Yeah. Yep. Magnificent flying carpet. No. Void Talon. No. Lipstick looks great, by the way. Thank you. This is a, a lipstick from a brand called Inica. And I think they're Australian, actually. Um, may, maybe? Inica Organic. Maybe they're not Australian. I don't, I don't know. No, go away with all these fucking pop-ups. Um, but they're like, oh yeah, Victoria. Our life began in Sydney 2006. Yep, absolutely. So they are, yep, they are a, um, Australian brand. They're natural and organic. Like they're very much they're, they're all, all their products are vegan. They're all cruelty free. They're all organic. Um, only use pure botanicals and earth derived minerals that are proven to perform. Our formulas are completely synthetic and toxin free. So they're 100% natural, uh, which is really interesting. Um, but the, it's a lipstick called Mulberry. Um, and it's like a, like a purple berry kind of shade. And I thought it went quite well with the, uh, the purple on the lids. So yeah, I was I was pretty happy with that. Thank you. What I need to do is get more Mellow Cosmetics lipsticks. So that when people say, oh, your lipstick looks awesome. Thank you. I'm an affiliate. Buy things and get me money. I'm kidding. But uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I need to get, I need to get more Mellow lipsticks, but um, I need to also not spend money on, look, it's fine. No, that's Raid. I need Dungeon. Here we go. Alrighty. ATT, Dungeons and Raids Classic. We are looking at Scarlet Halls. And this is, this character has one appearance from Scarlet Halls. One singular appearance. So hopefully we'll get a few drops in the first run. You better hope he makes a full recovery soon. Oh, he'll be totally fine. He'll, he'll be 100% fine. I have spinning crane kick, right? That's my... Yes. Oh, it's already on there. Okay, cool. Oh, but I need, like, things to do that. that sucks. Oh, well. And it's the butcher that I need, which can actually be used on this tune as well, so that's nice. 
I wonder if I'll be able to do this with it. Oh, I've got roll. Yeah, I can I can be fine. It will knock me back, but I should be fine, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, they hit me too much. Okay, that's fine. This will take forever, but it'll be fine. Keep firing. Let none escape. I was going to guess the flying Keep carpet. Firing. Anixian Drake Let going through all the mounts I don't have right now. No, it's Keep not Anixian. Firing. Shot! Up, Linden. Do not Another down? What? Who have you who do you think you have killed, you numpties? You're a bunch of wallies. What are you doing? No, just go away. Um Where are we up to? Uh, it's not the Anixian Drake. It's not the Swift Purple Wind Rider. Finish Cobra Kai season four was as good as the first three seasons. Awesome! Why are you suggesting? <laughs> no, Zygor. I think you're on drugs. Uh, not karate, but the vest I have. That's okay. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Uh, fear swap to be master spec. Talent into rushing jade wind and push it on. Rushing jade wind. In before I don't actually have that. I do. Sweet. Is it on my bars? No. Why would it be on my bars? Rushing Jade Wind. This one. Thank you. Lambent Mana Ray. No. Do you come from a land down under? Uh, if you're asking if I'm Australian, yes. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Um, Voldan I Dune Scraper? No. Also, you can roll with the shield. Ah! No! Okay, good. Noted. I'll remember that for next time. How's the fingy? Jess, how's the fingy? Amber Ardenmoth? No. I bleed. <laughs> but I won't die. What? No. Good, now push it on CD. I am. Obey your master. I will read the M. Squishing the puppies. Um. Do you glow? What? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't get that. I don't understand that reference. I did not get anything from Houndmaster Brawn. There's only one thing I need from him, but I didn't get it. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, hey Dory, welcome back. Archmage's prismatic disc. No, I have done that mount already, but I did the fire version because hi, I'm Fire Mage. Choose one of the serpents. I'm too lazy to look anything up. Noted. Serpent. Um. Let's go with Azure. I'm loving the blue and the red. Let's go with, let's go with the jaw. Thank you, Shiba. Done. And it has a hydrate and a stretch. My bad, itchy still, and band-aid is falling off again. Yeah, the, the thinner band-aids don't really hold on as much, do they? Another hydrate. Good. Wonderful. Uh... Twilight Drake, no, down under men at work. Look, I know the song, but what was the reference to glowing? Oh well, doesn't matter. Men at work lyrics. <sighs> yeah, I mean, like, I can sh I'm sure you can imagine that as an Australian, that's literally the first thing that every single foreigner we meet does. <laughs> Vegemite. Yes, yes. Also, they're not shrimp, they're prawns. Crikey, uh, good day, mate. Um, uh, yeah, like, uh, seriously. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, Jari Bloat Ray, no. Dark Moon Dirigible, no. Glow Men Plunder. Oh, right, of course. Yeah. Eh. Ugh. 
Mm, I see you've played Knifey Spoony before. First thing is Uluru. No. No, that's usually 7th or 8th. Uh, Drake of the South Wind, no. No, it's not. Uh, useless fact, the world map for Final Fantasy XIV got data mined the other day. Uh, the map is Earth. Australia is the homeland of the dragons. Enjoy. Interesting. Alright, am I gonna get the fucking tabard? No. But I did get one thing, so I'm now- Oh, excuse me. I'm now two of ten. Which is better than one out of ten. There she is. Two out of ten. Alright. Looks like the next lowest on my list is the priest. Um, but not for Scarlet Halls. That's for Vault of Archivon. We'll see how that goes. Things. Corrupted Firehawk, no. Netherlord's Accursed Wrathsteed, no. Dark Phoenix, no. Hulking Deathrock, no. Take this all the way to the Prime Minister. Andy! Yep. Yeah. There are there is no shortage of pop culture references to Australia. And like 98% of them are wrong. And we as Australians on the internet. I have to put up with all the shitty references. It's great. It's wonderful. And every single person who who pops the reference and goes, ah ha ha ha, thinks they're the first one to say it. And it's like, nah, honey. <laughs> nah. Nah. Oh god. So, like, half of what's left for Melissa is fucking zone drops. How horrendous is that? Oh, that's so gross. That's right, As if once I hit, like, only zone drops and the tabard left, I'll switch tunes. Go to a different class. Because this is this just gross. That's just gonna be gross. Um, Drake the Northwind. No, insert vague comment about how does gravity work. <laughs> uh, wish I actually got my NASA paycheck. Shoeys can fuck right off. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really super duper gross. Super duper gross. These can drop in Scarlet Monastery as well as Scarlet Halls. There you go. I didn't know that. I have learned a new thing. I think there is maybe a minute cooldown, but you can Zen Pilgrimage on a monk and do it again to return to outside. Oh, but if it's a whole minute, then I might as well just run back. Uh, did you already talk about what colours are on your balls of eyes? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, just the way- oh my god, the way you said that is fucking hilarious. Yeah, uh, purple and like goldy, yellowy, goldy, gold, yellow. Yes. It is a one minute cooldown. Yeah, that's all right. Um, it'll be, it'll take longer for me to wait for the cooldown. That's okay. Thank you for the, the suggestion though. Not sure if it, uh, I remember getting tabard back in SM. Not sure if it's on your farming. No, the tabard is, um, Scarlet Halls only. It's just specifically that one boss, but all the zone drops, um, all the zone drops can drop from either dungeon, which is kind of fun. Which means like if I get the tabard first before all of the zone drops, well, specifically the Butcher. The one I'm after is the Butcher. 
But, um, if I can, if, if I get the butcher, f if I get the tabard first, I can jump into the Scarlet Monastery as well. For, to, like, yeah. Um, just so that I'm not, like, so that I'm actually getting other appearances as well. Have I got this up really loud? I must do. I do. Look at that. Cool. All the sound effects today have been, like, deafening, but that one in particular was just like, what the fuck is going on? Um... Not sure if you missed my Inca and Waver, I guess, way back. Otherwise, I'm out of guesses. I don't think I missed it, but I don't remember because brain. I don't tend to retain things I don't think I need. Um, but it's not the Inca and Waver. Uh, glad you appreciated my wordage. Wing Guardian, no. Is Urzel purple and gold technically? Uh, maybe, but it's not that one. Spinewall Glacier, no. Magnificent Flying Carpet, no. Dark Moon Dirigible, no. Did I, did I do a, I wonder if I, okay, I get to this point and I'm like, I wonder if I've done a bad job or if I've done it well enough to, to like, make lots of guesses be a thing. I bleed. <laughs> Winged Guardian Leviosa, N no. <laughs> no. No, stop. Obey your no it honestly looks brown to me, not purple. Hang on, give me a minute. I wonder if that's a, um... It's definitely not brown. But I wonder if it's the camera. Um... It does look kind of brown, doesn't it? But, like, let me... Ugh. So, we have this color here in the, in the crease, like, yep. And then, yeah, this one, which is literally called deep purple um, in like the outer corner. And then like just on the lower lash line a little bit. But it is not meant to be a vibrant purple. It is not meant to be like a twitch purple or a or a void talon purple. It is supposed to be the color that it is. Oh, yes. So hopefully that will help. Where am I going? Fuck. This way? This way. Okay, so I turned around. Um, hey Josh. My eyes are actually fucked today. Oh no! Fathom Dollar, no. Domesticated Razorback, no. Uh, a lot of mounts for purples and golds, there are. Just a few. Ashen Vale Chimera, no. Viridian Drake, no. Wait, the way she said that with the look, well yeah. It's not supposed to be a vibrant fucking purple. If it was supposed to be a vibrant purple, I would have chosen vibrant purple eyeshadow. <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. Do you know does it fly? Yes. Phil Drake, no. I think she gave us a hint. Oh, really? Twilight Harbinger, no. Shadow Barb Drone, no. Bested by the likes of... <sighs> Slayer's Fell Broken Shrieker, no. Ah, if I knew more about where mounts, I'd be in with a chance. Well, I mean, there are plenty of websites that have big long lists of stuff, but I mean, it does mean you have to go through the lists rather than knowing a few off the top of your head kind of thing. Uh, Winged Guardian. Uh, Malevolent Drone, no. Winged Guardian, no. Uh, Dark Purple Argus Talbuk, no. Kuafon, yes. It's cool, fun. Here is looking vibrant. Thank you. I washed the dye out this morning. 
since you died yesterday? Indeed. Indeed. That's why my hairline is fucked. <laughs> That's fine. I have like so much concealer in my hairline, it is ridiculous. It's funny. Fresh. God damn it, I knew it. You did, and then you guessed it, and then you won. So, can I have a number from you? Between 1 and 100, please. It's gonna be one of them I hadn't got yet. Uh huh. Uh huh. Everything must burn. <laughs> Looking fiery as ever. Thank you. Didn't even show up on my list. Oh, that's a bit strange. Uh, it has been guessed correctly already, Dory. 63. All right. Where are we? There we go. Well, this loads up. I didn't get a single thing from- like, what the fuck? I need a th there's a- there's a... Um... Gloves from the first boss. And hand- and gloves from the- uh, gloves again from the last boss. And then I can move on to a different character because everything else is BOEs and, um, the tabard. Um, yay for earning an actual D100. Love that. All right, here we go. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Four to seven. Here you go. Congratulations. Well done. That was fun. That I feel like that wasn't like... It was, it took long enough to make it interesting, but not so long that everyone was just bored of the game. That was a good one. I liked that. What do you like? What do you think of the actual look? I honestly am fucking living for this color combination. I'm loving it. I like. I put. I put the purple on the the purple in my crease, and I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna look. And then I put the dark purple on. And I'm like, oh, hang on a second. And then the gold went on, and I'm like, oh, bitch, please. Like it looked awesome even without the liner and lashes, which usually is not a thing. Usually it looks really weird until you put the liner and lashes on to kind of bring the whole thing together, but. I was really happy with this today, so I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm I'm good, I'm good for it. Uh, delete row. Good. Okay. Next step. What? What? No. Uh, this one. The, okay, cool. I was confused for a second there. Open giveaway! Exclamation giveaway to enter. Um, must be following to be able to win. Good luck. Have fun. Mm. Using my in-game list, I can't even search it. It just doesn't show up. What the fuck? Oh, that's odd. Mine does. Maybe. Because it's one of those secret hidden mount kind of dealies. Like, you've got to, um... You have to get a drop, and that which starts a quest chain, and then it's like a daily quest that you have to take care of a little thingamajig and then raise it into the mount. Maybe it doesn't show up unless you started the quest chain or whatever. I don't know. That's really odd. Uh, Vito, what happened in that big Christmas house and house where the guy walked in on his wife and the ski instructor? Uh, what? Good lord. That sounds like an interesting twist for a game about renovations. Oh, I did. I can't see it either. That's why he had you sell all the skis and everything that she would have chosen. It is in retail, yeah. It's it's a Battle for Azeroth mount, BFA mount, so it can't possibly be in classic. Place troops in. Oh no! Oh, that's hilarious. That's okay though. Still, you can still place at least one, and that way you'll get a chance at the bonus shit. Out of all the classes, I think Pally is currently my least favorite during my leveling experience. Totally fair. Why? What is it about it that you don't like? Uh, and the kindy was fun. Striped walls everywhere. What drama. I love it. I have been... Okay, so last night I was playing House Whipper for like an hour or so. I've been playing it here and there, just like little bits. And it makes... It still makes me feel so sick. Like at the afterwards, I feel like I'm going to throw up and I have a massive headache and all this kind of... Like I cannot, cannot do. But I'm still playing it because I love it too much. It's a problem. 
it's a problem. Uh, this game actually looks like it's going to be a time sink. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jack. Oh, no. But hey, at least you'll enjoy it, right? Is that That's a good thing. Yeah, you got a game that you actually will enjoy. That's good. Question mark. <laughs> Ah, uh, you have it though. I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's why I was saying. I well, actually, maybe you said that before I went on my spiel. Ah, uh, I wonder if it's a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I have like a thousand attempts on that egg drop. Oh no. Yeah. See, I because I was leveling like day one and everything. I got it before they hot fixed the drop chance. The drop chance was set somewhere close to a hundred percent for like a, a day and a half or so, and then they were like, ah, shit, that's not meant to be the right thing, and so then they hot fixed it to be a lower drop chance. But they didn't take it off anyone who had already gotten it, thankfully. So it does not count for mountain amounts. Uh, I have no idea. I already had mountain amounts when I got Kufon. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you'd have to ask the internet for that. Uh, and not this section of the internet, like a different section of the internet. <laughs> Good morning, Groovin. I'm not sure why I don't like it. It's not awful or anything. I just don't vibe with it. Totally fair. Totally fair. Why is it Horde Quest? Maybe filter issue if you're Alliance. Potentially, yep. Also that. All right, I wonder if they fixed. Is it gonna start? <sighs> it's not frustrating at all. Mm. Which game is that? Ah, oh, like Paradox is the same as I've already. With strategical games, yeah, fair. Fair. I'm a hoardy at the moment, so I don't know. It is definitely a horde quest. I'm not sure if it'll show up on Alliance tunes. Probably, like, maybe not. Um. I agree with you regarding Palace. There's a struggle for me to level 2. Interesting. Interesting. We did a lose. That makes sense. It is our first battle of the day. We need more units. Guys, place those units. Help us out. Join the fee army. Hey, Jas, I have a craving for bread again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, where's my warrior? My warrior is the one I recently got to 30, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, I'm super proud of myself with this lovely experience though. I got one of every class going. It's been fun playing. Not sure if you saw my spreadsheet now or not. This is just how raise my angle level to 60. Well done. Well done. Awesome sauce. That's nice. Fuck you. Look. Help. <laughs> how do I fix it? Uh, just bread, yeah. Carbs in general, I think, but probably, like, specifically bread. We had, um, so we had our leftover pizza for dinner last night. Uh, from, like, the leftover pizza from New Year's. And, uh, we were gonna get garlic bread. Uh, as, like, a side to kind of flesh it out as more of a meal, because there wasn't a whole lot of pizza left. Um, and instead, when we were in Aldi, I found a cheese and bacon pull-apart bread. A cheese and bacon pull-apart bread. And uh, there was one on the pile, like all of them were like $3.99, but there was one on top of the pile that was expiring on the second today. And so it was reduced to $1.99. So I'm like, taken, done. I'll, I'll, you know, picked it up. Um, so $2 for a delicious cheesy garlic butter. They had garlic butter like, like spread on top of it. So as it baked, it like melted through all the bread. And it was just fucking delightful. It was so fucking good. Probably not worth four bucks. But certainly worth two. Absolutely it was worth two. Uh, so I was quite happy with that. And now I have craving for bread. If I go like a week or so without bread, I tend to be okay with the cravings. But as soon as I have bread and then there's none in the house, I start craving it again. It's fucking fucked. I have pizza. Nice. And yeah, so the fact that we had pizza and garlic bread and then more pizza and cheesy bacon pull apart bread, it's all bread. And so my body's like bread. Uh, and so now I want more. Leftover pizza is the best. Get this, you guys. Jas heats up his leftover pizza. Wow, 
Where is my reset macro? There we go. Uh, no, I want carbs too, right? Hello, Chaotic. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Just is banned, right? Exactly. That's, like, what? He's like, he puts it on a plate. I'm like, why are you putting it on a plate? He's like, I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I'm like, why the fuck are you putting it in the microwave? Yeah. And then he has, and then he offered me some, and I'm like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Archers, attack! Can I? No? Okay. Another keep firing. Keep firing. Mm, why? I put my leftover pizza in the grill. Not, not in the microwave. But why? But why? I don't understand. Like, fresh pizza is great. Reheated pizza, regardless of how you do it, reheated pizza is never as good. And I, I, honest to God, I believe that cold pizza is superior to reheated pizza, regardless of how you reheat the shit. Uh, I'm watching my sound at the moment. You're quite radiant. Oh, thank you, Death. Um, I mean, sound off. All right, okay. Uh, it's already in spinal form. Refrigerated. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Microwave would be awful. Happy New Year to you too. You get one shot at eating pizza hot. Exactly. Exactly. Wouldn't that heat it up? It does. Yeah, the grill reheats it. Absolutely. Leftover pizza is is to be eaten cold. One hundred percent. That's why you grill it? No, you don't. You eat it cold. Heathens, what are you doing? <laughs> you do not just reheat pizza, you eat it cold like the rest of us. Exactly. Exactly. Excuse me if I own a microwave. Yeah, it, we own it for other things. Also, 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 Jas has never had Easy Mac. I feel like this is the cue for me to add like a pallet of Easy Mac to my throne wish list from Amazon. <laughs> I'll eat pizza in all forms, La Mouse, so fresh, cold, reheated, it's all good to me. Yeah, but like, if you had a choice, obviously first choice is hot and fresh from, from the store, right? But then immediately preceding that is refrigerated pizza. Like if I had if I had a choice, this is this is had this is the order of preference. Um reheated pizza tastes uh, reheated pizza tastes like ass. For me, it, look, it's not so much a taste thing for me. You mean you're not wrong, but it's not so much a taste thing. It's more the texture thing. Regardless of how you reheat it, regardless, it either becomes dry and crunchy, or it becomes chewy, or it, it's just it's not the same. It it ruins the texture. No matter how you reheat it, it ruins the texture. It is far better cold. Uh, enjoy your luck, Yuri. Pretty sure a pizza doesn't last long enough in this house to become leftovers. Yeah, but we all, we got three large pizzas for two of us. Um, like we we intentionally whenever we get pizza, we intentionally go for whatever like the family deal special thing is because it's so worth it in terms of the value you get. And then you have leftover pizza, so it covers a couple of meals, um, which you know is great, value for money and things. Um, but. I mean, depends on how many people you have in your house as well, obviously. If you have more than two people, then yeah. Um, do we need a poll? Maybe. Maybe. But like... It's the spirit just be part of that 1%. Okay, no, that's wrong. Again with the Y. No way, not head easy Mac. No, no, not not head easy Mac. I think I think the big part of this is that when he went to uni, he was living at home. Like he commuted to university from home, so he never lived that like full on student life kind of deal. You know, 
Which I, un- like, that's totally fair. Like, if I had a choice, I would have eaten real food during university as well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So it's like, it's a thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. How many runs have I had now with literally fucking zero drops that I need? And unlike in the microwave, it doesn't get soggy and wet and weird and rubbing. No, it dries out and gets like rock hard and, and crunchy and crispy, which is also wrong. Like, yeah, they're, they're both, they're both wrong. Uh, fridge pizza. Exactly. I'd still eat it if it was apt. Yeah, but like, if I had a choice, I'm absolutely not going to. So I ate mine cold and just then warmed his up and I'm like, yeah, sure. Have fun with that. It's all hot again. Have you ever seen advertised cheese you can melt twice? Correct. It doesn't, cheese does not melt the second time around. It just kind of gets hot and with, but with the same texture as when it was cold and it's weird and wrong. Happy New Year, Majesty. How are you? Uh, when it's just me, I get a large pizza and cheesy bread. It lasts me dinner for the night and lunch the next day. Exactly. Absolutely. 100%. Never had to live like a tight ass. Yes. <laughs> I have I have eaten Easy Mac by choice since having a job because it's just, look, sometimes you, sometimes you want that. Sometimes we get party pizzas, a few meals. Also free some in Ziploc bags for quick snacks. Amazing. The whole point of ordering pizza is to also have lunch the next day. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, they do like a, they do a deal um, at our local Domino's. Three large pizzas, garlic bread, and a 1.25 litre soft drink for $34.95. Oh, although I think that's pickup. So I think it's like $39.95. But like, seriously, that did Jas and I dinner, lunch, and half a dinner for 40 bucks. Three meals for two people for 40 bucks. Well, two and a half meals. We did have to supplement the dinner with the cheesy bacon pull apart bread. But that was like two fucking dollars. So, so three meals for two people for 42 bucks. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, last time I did, I got one pizza and the garlic bread. For sure. I, yeah, the, the value meals that they do are just, they're really good. There is almost no point in just buying a singular pizza because it, it'll, it, <laughs> more often than not, it takes money off your order to add the garlic bread. <laughs> like, what? Oh, entries to stop for the giveaway. Congratulations to Les. You have won today's giveaway. Can I have a number from you? Between one and 100, please. You did win! How exciting. Who says no to garlic bread? Uh, people who have allergies to garlic. Uh, people who have gluten intolerance when the place does not offer a gluten-free version, which is shit. They should absolutely offer a gluten-free version. Um, people who have really bad dairy intolerances or like dairy allergies rather than just intolerances. Um, but those people are the vast minority, I, I feel like. So vampires, yeah, basically. Ah, uh, fuck. Did you hear something, lads? Thirteen. Alrighty. Alrighty. We have the Bard's Tale Four Director's Cut. Ah, fuck! What just happened? I pressed a button. You are. There you go! Congratulations. No gloves for fear. For Melissa, technically. Um, $42, three meals you didn't have to cook for two people sounds even better. I did have to cook the cheesy bacon pull apart bread because it came like un. Well, no, the bread wasn't raw. I'm pretty sure the bread was still cooked, but like par cooked. But all I had to do was turn the oven on, stick it in the oven, and then set a timer. Like, you know, I didn't, that's, te like, I feel like that's not exactly cooking. When I'm looking for a cheap, easy meal, and I can't do takeout, I absolutely just go and find some, like, pre-seasoned, pre-whatevered thing that I can just stick in the oven. 
that's like that doesn't count um so yeah but yeah absolutely right like the how how fucking good is that how fucking good is that maybe i get the three pizzas delivered yeah, it was three three pizzas, garlic bread, and a 1.25 liter soft drink. And I usually go for solo with the soft drink because the tang of the, like the lemon squash, like that sour tang, cuts through the fat and the bread and the cheese and the all that kind of stuff from the pizza. It just kind of freshens the whole thing up, in my opinion. I feel like it's a really good complement to the food. Can you tell I'm a fucking foodie? <laughs> Um, with Bard's Tale is such a good series. There you go. Amazing. Uh, you're very welcome, Les. How's Mama Fia? Yeah, she seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, for pizza folks, what's the difference between deep pan and regular crust? Uh, deep pan is the correct choice. Hi, the sun well. <gasps> Sam! With the sub! Happy New Year, Yaz! Thank you so much for the resub. Amazing. And at tier three, nonetheless. Goodness gracious. Thank you so much. Uh, do you have this month's calendar ready to see? Yeah. We had it on we had it on Thingamajig. Um, I know I haven't done it in the Discord yet. Um because reasons. But yeah, we have that. Um, deep pan is thicker. Yeah, deep pan is literally like actual bread. Um, like it's it's thick. It's a it's a deeper pan, so the the base is thicker, and it's like bread rather than like cookie or cracker or yeah. And and thin and crispy can get fucked. I don't want to break my teeth on a pizza. Thank you very much. Um, deep pan does result, it results in a much more filling pizza as well. So if you're trying to do the budget thing and you're trying to stretch a pizza to make up multiple meals, go deep pan. Uh, because it will fill you up more. Uh, who's more of a foodie than me? Yeah, I'm more of a foodie than most people. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, yep. Yeah. It's a thing. Uh, what is the difference? It is thicker, literally. It's, it's, like... You've got thin and crispy, you've got regular, and then you have deep pan. Like that's, it, it is in the name. <laughs> um, good to hear, agree, deep pan 100%. Yes, thickness of the dough, did we get the goal of the secret stream? We did, we did. So we have the WoW secret stream, which is why it's it's there on the 26th there. The WoW secret stream. I feel like thin and crispy misrepresents. Uh, New York style pizza. New York style pizza is also fucking stupid though. It's just, it's, you can't, you can't pick it up. It's just gigantic and floppy and all the toppings just slide straight off and all that. Like, it's just bad. The only benefit to it is that one slice is approximately the size of a large Domino's pizza. But it's like, no, it's, it's weird. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I tried it with cheesy crust, found it's not for me, too much for me. The pizza was taking too much space. Or well, you could eat fewer slices. Like, that's the whole point for me, is that it fills you up more. You get more value for money. Because it's not more expensive. Ooh! Ah! Nice! Wait. That's a world drop, not a- shit! Okay, I'll take it! Fuck yeah. It's not even a Scarlet Halls one, it's just a world drop. I'll take it. I remember years back people like get thin and crispy so f so you fill up on topping, not bread. Yeah, but then you have to eat a whole goddamn pizza to get full. That's just silly. Sales pizza near me, they do thin crust, it's never crispy. Gotta be able to fold them in half as New York style. Yeah, but like even still, it's just... It's so floppy and, and stuff that all the topping just slides off. It's not a good experience, in, in my opinion at least. Um, never eating American pizza again. Yeah, look. I got my Demon Hunter set from Mythic. And Taurus has a grand out honor for the matching glaives. Well done, Ish. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. 
So you're saying cheesy crust is good because less pizza food. No, I'm saying deep pan, Nano. I don't- you brought up the, the cheesy crust. For, for the last 10 minutes we've been talking about deep pan. <laughs> deep pan is better. Because first of all, you don't break your teeth on it. It's not crunchy. Pizza shouldn't be crunchy. That's weird. Um, but also, it's it's soft and it's doughy and it's yummy and it's awesome. But also, there's more dough. So you eat more bread, therefore fewer slices fills you up more. Which means that the pizza covers more people and more meals, potentially, if you end up with leftovers. Depending on how many humans you have present, of course. What? No. No, stop! Um... California pizza, kitchen pizza. California pizza, kitchen pizza is the worst I've had. What? How and why? Hey, I finally got the fucking gloves. Oh, and some- I did- wait, wait. When did I get the pants from- When did I get the pants from Fuckface? I'm so confused. Did I- The plate? What? I'm so confused. Oh, they share an appearance! Oh, for fuck's sake, they share an appearance. <laughs> Good. Noted. Wonderful. But that means that all I have left is the tabard and zone drops. So I'm going to... Once I've done this run, we're going to switch tunes. Um, so I'm now at 4 out of 10 on Melissa. Now, if I... Switch this to account mode. Once I'm out of combat. There we go. Uh, I want to try a Chicago pizza. Just realized probably should go cook dinner now. I wish I enjoyed cooking more. I feel like the kitchen space is what helps with enjoyment cooking for me. Old house love to cook. This house has no space to prep food, so I hate it. Oh, bugger. That sucks. Oh, dear. Is there a chance to get, like, some kind of table-y thing? Maybe like from Ikea or something, even something that can fold away, that you can open up to do food prep on and stuff. Uh, half insulates the and half insulates the tasty stuff inside. Do not want. Deep dish Chicago. Deep, okay, deep dish I'm okay with, but the thin, like the New York style pizza that just kind of flops like a flaccid pizza is not pleasant. <laughs> I don't, I don't, no, no, wrong. TwitchCon 2017 pizza was 95% grease. Oh no, that sucks. Even with cooking is the fucking mess you gotta clean up once you're full. Yeah, this is why this is why um recipes that have a cook time that you don't have to monitor, like stuff you have to stir constantly, like risotto and stuff. Delicious, but I wouldn't I don't like making it myself because you have to constantly monitor it. The idea is that you put it in the oven or you put it you leave it to simmer on the, the stove or whatever. In a dishwasher safe pot or pan, firstly, and then while it's simmering or in the oven, you wash up all the other bits. And then once you've dished up and then so, like put the leftovers in containers and stuff, the dishwasher safe pot or pan that you used for the last step goes straight in the fucking dishwasher. Like that is the key. 100%. Uh, can you just so small? It'd be nice to renovate the kitchen, come up with a good way to make more out of the space. Yes, that'd be awesome. If it's open plan, can you, like, move the bench further out to give yourself more? I mean, I know that doesn't actually, like, creates more movement space, but not necessarily more bench space. But look, I'm sure you'll find a way. Every Might even be worth time. getting one of those, um, like, some some furniture places and some renovation joints do a, um, uh, like, they have a consultant that can come out to your kitchen and can help you plan out stuff. Help you, like, see outside the box and shit. That might be helpful. I love your kitchen. Our kitchen is huge, but like in terms of movement space, not necessarily bench space. I can officially say I'm getting married next month. Oh my God, that's amazing, Majesty. I'm so excited for you. That's so good. Just want to be rich enough to have a personal cook. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Right, okay. So we have crossbow, plate, two-handed ax, mace, two-handed mace, mail, and male. So I think we go to a hunter next. I think a hunter is going to be the next one on the list. Um, in order to maximize our droppage of stuff. Now that I know that that drops in, well that only drops in Scarlet Halls, but the, the BOEs drop in Monastery as well. That 
that's gonna help. I think maybe, we'll see. I know, I, I just know I'm gonna get to the point where I've got literally everything for every class, except the fucking tabard. Hungry, I think I need snack. It's okay, I'm gonna get snacks. Uh, they also have to have every casino I want at hand. I might want Thai, Indian, Chinese, Mexican, Japanese, Italian on a whim. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Again, chefs usually have a specialty. They'll be able to cook pretty much anything. But if you want, like, Italian restaurant quality and then Thai restaurant quality, no. They're, like, chefs tend to have specialties. Um, but I'm sure you'll figure that out. Snacking on cheese and bacon shapes. Oh, yum. Yum. I'm thinking Pocky and also chips and maybe a muesli bar. I think I'll start with the muesli bar just to put something in my stomach that isn't crap. I also need to learn stuff in my bags. So this is a, that's a new appearance. As is this. Uh, as is this. Um, and then I've got a couple that have stars on them, which mean I need to send them away elsewhere. Be seeing ya. Be careful, man. Stay away from the voodoo. Bye bye now. Okay. Now I can sell this. It's crafting. Oh, there's another belt I didn't use. Oopsie. Okay, okay. Cool. So I can equip that. And then. I have stuff to send. Good item. Oh, right, my key. Lol. There we go. So, it's gonna be male, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so, whoopsie. You can have that, and this is male as well, isn't it? Yes. Good. And I had a couple patterns. I already have that one. I already have that one, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Cool, I'm gonna switch to the hunter. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to grab myself a schnick. Cheese making shapes in melted craft cheese spread. I prefer to just like melt mozzarella over them. I don't know, cheese spread just... Mm, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that. But that's okay, you do you. Eating Subway cookies, wonderful. I prefer Mrs. Fields, personally. Much better. Much better. I've worked at both institutions and the Mrs. Fields cookies are fucking baller. The, once you've had those, like once you've had Mrs. Fields soft baked cookies, Subway cookies are chewy and shit. Just saying. They're not like, look, they, they're they okay in a pinch, but Mrs. Fields are better. Like so much better. Um, uh, I just finished snacking on some salami. Delicious. Isn't Kraft that weird American fake cheese? No, Kraft is a brand. Uh, they do a lot of stuff, not just cheese. But I'm assuming the cheese spread is that pale yellow, thick, plasticky type stuff that comes in a jar. Eating a crumpet with Vegemite? Yum. Crumpets are good. Where's Domitore? Because I'm on Domitore now. I'm gonna do this stretch and then I'm gonna go get my snacks. Biabi.
Hej. We have this brand here in New Zealand, Mrs. Higgins. Ooh. Subway's oat and raisin cookies are the best. I used to eat them raw. Very tasty. Amazing. Okay. Actually, while I'm here, I think I need to update um, this tune's entire thing. <clears throat> but it's also on not on account. It's okay. Yeah, the numbers are all wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna need to update this. That shouldn't take too long though. Mm-hmm. You can type exclamation A-T-D-A-R-T -T to watch as this updates, if you so desire. Thirty four, <clears throat> fifteen, forty five, twelve, thirty eight, twenty seven, seventy three. Ah, here we go. Mm okay, eleven, twenty five. Perfect timing for the battle. <clears throat> Congratulations to Dory, Meaty, and Little on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Boss defeated. Mm -hmm. Skin. No, token. That's a token chest. Token chest. Woo! Uh, healer. Can I place my healer yet? I can. Okay, so now up to BC. So we've got seven, nine, seven, sixty-nine, two, nine, three, seven, ten, twenty-seven, fifteen, thirty-two, thirteen, forty, thirty-one, fifty-four, seventeen, fifty-four, twelve, twenty-four, seventeen, thirty-five, thirty-one, forty-three, fourteen, forty-one, twelve, thirty-five, thirteen, twenty-four. 8, 25, 19, 30, 14, 26, 9, 24, 24, 36, 14, 29, 11, 28, 30, 19, 35, 10, 26, 14, 32, and then Wrath, 48, 146, 171, 320, 8, 38, 18, 21, 162, excuse me, 263, Excuse me again. 103, 158, 249, 423. Fuck Ice Crown Citadel. 8, 16, 31, 39, 18, 27, 32, 38, 35, 41, 29, 47. What's that? 29, 47. 
I'm gonna have two holes of reflection. Yeah, 18, 49. 29, 34, 17, 50, 17, 41, 15, 34, 33, 41, 39, 48, 38, 54, 91, 28, 34, 34, 45. Cataclysm. Oh. <clears throat> 8, 10, 12, 41, 45, 46, 47, 42, 64. 34, 38, 130, whoa. Oops. Four wins. 34, 38, 113, 156, 110, 184, 19, 29, 5, 15, 20, 29, 15, 25, 8, 17, 16, 21, 13, 25, 17, 26, 18, 26, 7, 14, 21, 35, 22, 38. Beautiful. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Not complete yet is what they mean. Not done yet. Bingo! Quick maths. No, I'm just reading numbers. I'm not doing any sort of maths whatsoever. That is the spreadsheet's job. Uh, <laughs> the spreadsheet does the math for me because fuck that. Uh, 152, 206. Uh, 74, 130. 61, 116. 61, 102. 227, 443. 257, 436. 468. Uh, 17, 25, 20, 26, 9, 15, 12, 13, 12, 27, 13, 27, 29, 35, 21, 31. Four loads of drown. Uh, 10, 18 is right. 82, 156, 201, 322, 178, 303, 92, 241, 18, 28, 17. Oh, shit. I broke it. 178, 303, 92, 241, 18, 28, 17, 22, 11, 16, 11, 24, 19, 32, 19, 25, 17, 21, 29, 41. There we go, and Legion. Last one, and then we will head off. 18, 43, 83, 206, 34, 122. 102, 301, 66, 165, 66, 200, 20, 44, 25, 74, 28, 48, 8, 28, 11, 21, 23, 38, 23, 43, 25, 46, 21, 34, 27, 43, 43, 55, 6, 38, 14, 29, 20, 43. So many of my tunes have Seed of the Triumvirate as the lowest. <laughs> um, because I just never did it. Because it was added so late in the expansion and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a thing. So what we're doing is Scarlet Halls. Zoom. Interesting. So I need the tabard to be able to buy these as well. Cool. Here is my issue. So the way to purchase the cropped tabard of the Scarlet Crusade, you have to be wearing the tabard of the Scarlet Crusade and then you speak to the vendor and they allow you access to purchase the cropped version for 25,000. Now you have this ensemble, collect the chain of the Scarlet Crusade appearances. Do you need to be physically wearing the item Tabard of the Scarlet Crusade? Or can you be wearing something that is transmogged to the Tabard of the Scarlet Crusade? So if that, if the Tabard drops on fear and it's bop, can I purchase the chain shit on my hunter or shaman? Or do I have to get it to drop a second time on a male wearer? Hi, the sun. Mm. Trud, thank you so much for the resub. Amazing. <laughs> much appreciated. People who work with math need a break from math. 
all people who work with math know that they don't really actually do any math. The programs do the math for you. You just double check and go, hmm, that doesn't quite look right. Happy New Year, Trud. 79 attempts on the Minute Grumpus No Mount. I guess I have to try again next year. Hey, Zam, have you considered having 50 characters? I know you hate me. It's fine. I've mostly accepted this. You do have 50 characters. Why didn't you use them for attempts on Grumpus then? I need to know the answer to this tapid question now. What is the vendor? Scarlet Quartermaster. Someone can't sell the rumpus on low pop server, can't party up. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Well, maybe see if you can team up with some of the family. On a plate character with the tabard, I had found Ensemble Scale of the Scar Scarlet Crusade for 10k. You cannot transmogrify your tabard into the Scarlet Crusade tabard to talk with her. You must actually have the item on a plate wearer. I'm assuming that the same is also true for Ensemble's Chain of the Scarlet Crusader and male wearers. Fuck. Fuck. Well, I'm glad it didn't drop on a clothy before I realized. Now I know that I have to farm just on plate and mail. And that's, that's it. Fuck. Okay. And I need to get two. Good. <laughs> Yay. Yay. The things we do for completion percentage. Consider it next year. Of course. Of course. Yeah, this is, this is going to be like year of the event for me. Like Luna Festival. We're going to get all that fucking transmog. Love is in the air. We're getting that mount plus everything else that I can get my hands on. Like, we're, we're going to do this. I'm going to try and clear out my my all the things uh, events this year. We'll see how we go. Rip, indeed. Look, now I know, right? That's, that's a good thing, right? Knowing is half the battle. And I'm glad I realized before it dropped, you know? So that I didn't have to farm it. Didn't, you know, accidentally get it on a leather wearer and now have to get it on a male and plate wearer as well, you know? I didn't know hunters could use two-handed axes. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Everything but maces. Oh, that's right, because that's why everyone says everything is hunter loot, because they can literally use everything. <clears throat> I remember now. <clears throat> I 
Children just be traded usually. Makes no goddamn sense. They can't use mazes. Why? Do I have barrage? Whatever it is. No. Oops. It's 20 second cooldown anyway. It's a bit shit. <clears throat> Is that the only AoE hunters have? What, are, what else do we have? The dexterity and coordination. You use swords which requires both of those things. And staves and pole arms. Archers, attack! Another down! Do not relent! Where do I find the spreadsheet? What spreadsheet, Dory? Which one? There are multitudes. There are a lot of spreadsheets. You have multi-shot. I do. Okay. Oh, and it's already on my boss. Good. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, for all the things. Exclamation AT dart. Uh, out of all the martial weapons, a mace should be the easiest to use. It's a stick you bash people with. A stick with a pointy bit and a, point, a pointy lump on the end. Oh, excuse me. Don't know if I'm missing on the calendar for anyone else. Yep. I'm guessing they just haven't updated the calendar for this year yet. It should be starting 6pm tonight. Well, 6pm for me, anyway. Don't know about you guys and your time zones. Did you hear something? I bleed. Doesn't have to be a pointy lump. <laughs> but I won't stop. Just remind you that once every four seconds it causes pet cleave. Ah, cool! If you're high level enough. No. I'm 50. Obey your master. Uh, I don't know to read the power of a good stick. Hiccup was panicking a bit. Ah. No crossbow. Yeah, that definitely seemed to cause pet cleave because they weren't even in line of sight and the tool tried to duck around the corner and smash them all. Probably hard enough. Yeah, it seems like it. What's the shot and kill command? By the likes of... <clears throat> <clears throat> or barrage. No, I don't have barrage. And it's a 20 second cooldown. Like, that's fucking useless for soloing shit. It's a couple pieces of mail from him. Hey, one down. So I'm six of thirteen. Sweet. Ah, fuck Barrage, we're a spell in the game to know man, at least it does stuff. Just 32, yeah, Cleave, nice! There you go. Thank you so much for the help, Jack. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a long day. <laughs> long stream. It's 
okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great, in fact. I'm on hunter mode, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hmm, head splitter seems to be going for fairly chill. Well, region sale average. There's no min buy art. Hmm, yeah, Dark Moonfair is supposed to be starting in half an hour. But, um, we'll see. Does stuff like pull the entire goddamn dungeon? Yeah, like, if it was genuinely, like, if it couldn't shoot through walls and shit, it'd probably be better. But it's just such a wide ranging, like, it, it's so easy to misuse, I think is the issue, right? You guys want to carry your burdens? Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Um, and I mean, I mean, like, you'd want to be here, right? Because when it drops, that's going to be one hell of a moment and you don't want to miss that. Right? Something, something. That's something that could be wanted in a transmog run. It could be. It could be, yeah. <clears throat> but that's a very niche use. Very niche use. I'll never invite a rag hunter to low keys. I'll run Bowers and pull the entire courtyard in halls. Ooh. Oh, can you imagine? I'm so sweet of this. Can be Lydia for fear. Another down. Uh, I Do feel like that's a reference Another I don't get. That's down. okay. That's Do alright. There are so many references I do not understand. And that's alright. Do not relent. I just should have shot them from back there, hey. Well, I'm an empty. It's fine. It's from Skyrim. Ah, okay. Seen it done before was not a good time. There's a character called the dear that you meet. One of her most oft lines you hear is I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Ah oh, dear. Is running barrage and LFR dog boss in Nethria. Uh. Mm. I'm choosing to not remember that. Did you hear something? I bleed. <laughs> but I won't die. I'm getting a few schematics and things, which is nice. I don't think I, I think I've got most of them learned already. But uh Crossbow? Crossbow! Way! Na 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 na. Oh, for a bit, we'll set up PC to like. Thank you, much appreciated. Enjoy your luck. Ah, uh, rule number is a good hunter. Avoid barrage, yeah. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, I didn't update. Seven. Seven out of thirteen. Bested by the likes of is that? Oh no, that was male feet that I already had. That's okay. I do need the gleaming ravager from him, and also, of course, the tabard. Draxus Hunter. Can come in and spell Barrage Multi are pretty decent. Solo rotation for transmog farming. That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't know where my hunters are gonna go. I can't remember. I 
have a spreadsheet for it, but um, of course I do. But um, I don't remember off the top of my head. Culture update for CK3 is gonna be so nice to make this run a lot more make make a lot more sense anyway. I'm trying to locate my tabid. I mean, you've got the the search function works in your bank and stuff as well. So like, if you type in Scarlet, you should be able to get a couple things pop up if you've got them. It really, like, frustrates and annoys me that the Tauren, when they jump, one of their arms goes up to the sky and the other one goes out to the side. But it, like, it j always the same ones. Is it, like, do they just have one bung shoulder or something? All of them? It just, I, mm, I don't know. Something, it just kind of annoys me for some reason. Oh, I'm weird sometimes. But aren't we all? A weird right arm is stronger than the left one. Apparently. It's interesting. <clears throat> okay, out we go. Reset. Is that a joke somewhere? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe? Not sure. I, I don't think so, though. Pocky. I like Pocky. Guys, I need an adult. I'm about to eat a cake for breakfast. Someone needs to stop me. Why? I mean, if you soak it in milk, does that technically make it cereal? And if there's icing on it and there's milk in the icing, does that mean you don't have to add milk to it because there's already milk there and so it's already cereal? It's probably got less sugar in it than some cereals. It's a lead quote. Get your brains out of the gutter. Hey, attack! Happy New Year to you too, absolutely. Hope you're having a wonderful day, week, whatever it is so far. Oh no, I'm eating it. Oh no! That's fine. Cake for breakfast is like, rite of passage. <clears throat> Don't need anything from him. Let no one I have so hopefully Arms Master gives me what I need. A tabard! Tabard would be nice. I'd like a tabard. Look at your rationalizing cake. Fuck yeah. Absolutely, not too bad, just relaxing. Wonderful news. Hey, Gleaming Ravager get. Oh, and Harlan's shoulders. I think that's a, yeah, that's a double up. That's okay. Eight out of 13. <clears throat> and then Bradbury's Entropic Leg Guards. Is my last thing that I need outside of the tabard and, uh, uh, BOE trash drops, um, which means that I'll probably jump onto a plate wearer. Um, to finish.
finish that off. I'm getting very close to wanting to just buy some of these BOEs. <laughs> it's only 47k, right? That's it's nothing, it's fine. Probably valid breakfast and it's dinner time somewhere. Like Australia. Yeah, it's like 20 to 6 here. It's close enough to dinner time. I can go for it. Are you Australian? I am, yes. Welcome on in, Tim. That's why I've got the Australian tag on the on the stream. No pants. It's okay, we go again! Oh, so cool. Is it really? I mean, it's not like it's by choice. It just I just so happened to be born here. Like, <laughs> it just kind of happened. I didn't really get much of a say in it. Oh, I hydrate. <sighs> Delightful. One more drop from the last boss, and I can have a look at changing, maybe. Jump on a plate wearer for the last couple bits. Okay. Uh, this one. How's my bags looking? Yeah, I'm pretty fine. I love Pocky. They're so tasty. <clears throat> Attack! go. I mean this week. Uh they I I don't know. No idea. If there is, it's starting in approximately 17 minutes. It's not in the calendar, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not in the game. Got two crossbows. There's no Dark Moon in the calendar at all for the whole year. Um, so methinks they just forgot to add it to the, like add the coding.
I'm going to assume that it is still going to go ahead in game. They've just forgotten to, edit to, the, to add it to the calendar. <clears throat> or, you know, way back when they programmed it into the calendar, they were like, repeat every blah blah blah, and they had to put an end date on it, and they've just not realized that that end date has now hit, because the person who did it is no longer with the company or something. Like, it was an intern or something, do you know? Congratulations to Grubin, Whiskey, Death, Miantos, and Duplicate on all your bonus shit. Well done. Hmm. Delicious. And that'll get me my quest done. No, tabbed. Every time must burn! My fire... us... gone hard. <clears throat> Not the right legs. my bags now. I think they'll be full by the end of next run. <clears throat> That's okay. We'll head out, empty the bags, and jump on back in. That's right. All these ones in here, they can all drop the uh, the BOEs as well. I forgot about that. That'd be kind of hilarious. I wonder what the respawn time is on them. Just run around in circles, killing them over and over and over again. No dungeon lockout. Have anything I was done talking to you anyway. Come back with some better stories. Equip a couple things I can equip. 
and then vend them. Greetings, sir and okay. ma'am. And in again. Not everything in the Archers, attack! I finished my bookie. That is sad. <laughs> I bleed, <laughs> but I won't die. What? No, no, stop. Obey your master. Let no one. So many have failed. Our sake. Mm. No trash traps. Maybe tab it? It'd be kind of awesome to get the tablet and then go straight to Dartmoor Fair and buy the other stuff. That'd be very cool. Uh, you know. <clears throat> we'll see how we go. By the sun well. Ah, channel. Thank you so much for the sub. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you. Good though, because there's a ton of stuff I need, like crafted stuff. Classic. <laughs> Wrong pants. They're the plate pants. I want the male pants. Funnily enough, they actually share an appearance with those pants. The plate and the male look the same. But, um, they don't count. You can't cross, like, yep. Done work. Done work. That's alright. At least one more run. Maybe we'll get a tabard or a, or a zone drop. Wouldn't that be nice? How are your bags looking? I emptied them before the last run. So 
They're looking all right. Like I emptied them right before this run. So I shouldn't need to empty them for another couple runs, hopefully. But I am getting, you do get a lot of greens from classic dungeons. So they do fill up a little quicker than some of the other expansions, which I'm okay with because it means potentially more world drop buoys that I can use as transmog. Mm, what was today's mount makeup? Kuafon. It was Kuafon. Got purple that's not particularly bright purple. And some like orangey, creamy, gold kind of color on my lids. I was really happy with how it turned out. Like the, the goldy kind of shade and the purple shades, like they look really good together. And I'm really, like they even looked good together before I put the like liner and lashes on, which usually they don't. Like usually these kind of fun looks they look kind of weird until you put liner and lashes on and kind of bring it all together. But um, I'm really happy with how this, this turned out. And I'm wearing new lashes. No more, no more glitter on my lashes, because um, they were, they were getting a bit um, they were getting a bit. And I've been using them for a month. I'd used them for almost the entirety of of December. It was like, I think it was like the 5th or 6th of December that I started using them because the other ones I was using that I was hoping to use for a full goddamn month disintegrated. And I was like, God damn it. So I had to pull those ones out and they last a while. Um, and now I've got new ones for the month of January. And I'm kind of happy about that. I'm not supposed to pull them out makeup you did last year. Uh, well, I've got that spreadsheet. I do, it doesn't have the last, I think there's like still a chunk of December I haven't put in yet, but that spreadsheet still exists. Or do you mean like all the images? Let no one... All the images? Hmm. How would I even do that? Because I mean, I've been posting them on Instagram. Not all of them, obviously. Uh, but some of them. Hmm. Not sure how I'd do that. Without the image being entirely too large to upload anywhere. Or just being a total mess with literally hundreds of images. Because we've done like quite a few. We've done, I think, like 150 now ish. Yeah, just people thought. No, I like, I absolutely. It, it sounds like fun. They are definitely going up on Instagram one by one, like every few days, there's a new one that goes up. So if you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, you absolutely should. Kind of slightly offended that you're not. Um, no, but, but seriously though, um, following creators like myself on social media platforms, especially things like Instagram, uh, are, it's like immeasurably helpful. Uh, so many sponsors and stuff like that specifically look for Instagram stats. Um, Twitter is uh, slightly less important and then TikTok is huge as well uh, but that's like having having a larger sphere of influence on those platforms will help me get more sponsorships more affiliate programs all this kind of stuff and all of that works towards helping me go full-time and full-time means more streams more content um, more interaction with you guys more time to focus on this on on content um, so if you would like to support me in that endeavor, highly recommend checking me out on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, so they go up on there every so often. Um, yeah, look, there you go. Thank you, Koalajon. Appropriate timing. Appropriate timing. Right. Back we go. Still no pants from Flame Weaver Kogler. No zone drops either. So another run. Another run. Sometimes Qualatron does good. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Occasionally. Ugh, oh, goodness gracious. So once I have these pants from Flameweaver, 
I will check on account mode what else we need from this place outside of zone drops and the tabard. And I think, I know there's plate, and I think there's a weapon, another weapon, but I think that can be got by plate wearers. So that's fine. I'll just pick a plate wearer that can use that weapon. Uh, and then if I get all of that and still don't have the tabard or the, um, the zone drops, then we might just focus on the zone drops and go into Scarlet Monastery instead. Um, because that way at least we're working on getting that percentage where I want it to be, but also working on other stuff at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, efficiency, you know? Efficiency. Archers, attack! Bully the bot? No. No bully. No bully. Qualitron's lovely. Most of the time. Sometimes he disconnects and doesn't tell me, and that frustrates me a little bit. Mostly it's fine. Except you will. What? No. <laughs> no, stop! 50-50s. I'm so mother. close, Shiva. So close. I mean, so we've got... I've got a leveling stream this coming Friday. We've got a leveling stream next Friday. Like, the next Friday after that. So the 7th, the 14th. And then on the 22nd, not the 21st, the 22nd, we have the marathon stream, and that's going to be leveling as well. And so that's all up 24 hours leveling. And I reckon, I reckon that might do it. I reckon that might do it. And if it doesn't, we're going to spend the entire first week of February <laughs> doing Lunar Festival. <laughs> Getting all those Elder Coins and um, trying to get those, get the... Um, Levels up. Still no dark moon. Interesting. That's unusual. That's very strange. I think someone done fucked up. Are there any posts on the forums about it yet, Sam? I know, right? I know. That's ridiculous. Absolutely incredible. Oh. God damn it. Still no Bradbury's and Tropic Legards. Still gonna make 18 more streams to reach my account. I've been enjoying batch leveling the group I have now. Of course, you know, you gotta do what you enjoy. You gotta do what you enjoy. Back when I started leveling them, and because I was spending so much time leveling all the time, I was burning through their rested so quickly that if I didn't have the full set, I wouldn't have, like, I wouldn't have had anything at full rested by the time I got needed one. Um, so that's why I kind of created them all to start with, but, like, you've got to do what works for you. Gotta do what works for you.
Put on for being gone, and that's it. Nothing else on forums or Wowhead. Yeah, I've seen that there's nothing on Wowhead. I think because it's only like four minutes in, and it's also what time in the US? Just past midnight. Um, I would imagine that give it 10 hours when everyone in the US has woken up and is like actively starting to play and do their stuff for the day and being like, wait a second, it's Sunday. Where's my DMF? Um, that's when I reckon everything will start flooding in. Step closer and don't mumble. Fine, leave. I was done talking to you anyway. This one I can put on. That's it, though, I think. I've seen things that would scare you shellless. Oh, oopsie. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. I'll take it. Uh, DMF isn't on my calendar in US. So, and a same on EU too. Yeah, it's not on anybody's calendars, and... I was assuming that it would just be missing from the calendar, but that the event would actually start, but the event hasn't started yet either. And it was supposed to start six minutes ago. So yeah, there is no DMF. It's not there. Does not exist. There are posts on the forums, just search Dark Moon Fair 2022. There you go, Zam. Yeah, we know, channel. We are aware. Blizzard, you broke your game. I still think it was just, like, however many years ago when they were scheduling it in, they had an intern do it. And they had to put an end date on it, so they put one on it. And just no one realized that the end date was coming. And so they didn't, but, like, they didn't go to fix it. That kind of shit happens all the time. All the time. It just doesn't usually have quite as far reaching an effect. I'm trying to try to predict the end of WoW. Hmm. It is interesting, though. But I won't die. Like, because you could assume that a company is because Blizzard would have sort of, you know, fail safes and all that kind of shit to prevent this kind of stuff from happening, but in the end, it is run by humans. And humans make mistakes, make boo boos. Especially, like, you know, an intern putting it in their own calendar, but not adding it to. The, the, you know, the person they're reporting to's calendar, their boss's calendar. Or they did add it to their boss's calendar, but because the intern was the one who owned the appointment, when the intern's account got deleted when their internship finished, all of their appointments in other people's calendars also got deleted. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, all this kind of shit could have happened. You never know. I'm certain that uh, once the United States wakes up and realizes it's not there, we will get we will get some commentary. <laughs> we we will be told what's going on. Maybe they'll just skip it this week because of the funky timing and make it happen next week and then the proper timing from now on or something. Um, so if you're the game devs, I'm allowed to make mistakes. Well, look, look. Hey, I'm Moon. How are you going? Welcome back. 
Uh, Goal, how long ago were those posts? Um, like, are they from, like, the last sort of couple of hours, or are they dating back to, you know, hey, I've noticed that six months from now, the Dark Moon Fair disappears from my calendar. Because it would be quite interesting if they missed posts that far out, but if it's only the last few whatevers, then that makes sense. Like, they're not gonna- it's fucking Christmas. Everyone's on goddamn holiday, and so they fucking well deserve it. I oh, season this economy. They were old- ah, for a number of years, if Dark Moon Fair was scheduled to end on the Daylight Savings Change Day, it would run another week. Yeah. That's interesting. No, it's not actually- like, the fact that it's not in the calendar at all is a little bit concerning. Like, not even for a different week, but... I'm sure it's just an oopsie somewhere. A few months old? Hmm, interesting. So you'd think someone would pick up on that, but... Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I read a post reporting the DMF not being in the calendar at the start of December. It's a month of possible awareness. Yeah. I wonder if maybe it's a, a slow communication type thing, like the, the team who checks the bug report forums have gone, oh shit, and they've forwarded that on to, that, to, to the appropriate team, but they haven't seen it in time, or they've had other more pressing issues, or like, who knows? That's really interesting. Or maybe they have plans, TM, that they forgot to tell us about. Hmm. There is also a chance that the, the bug report team saw it and went, ah, oh, it's probably just not in the calendar, but still scheduled to run. It'll be fine. So they've just sent it to the calendar team. Not to the team who actually implements the events and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, what, I don't know how the teams are structured exactly, but um, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, not realizing that the actual event hasn't been scheduled either. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Hmm, is it really that surprising? Is what really that surprising? Happy New Year, Nas. Not in the calendar for fair by that. It's not in the calendar at all, ever again. It's it's not just an isolated incident. It's just not there. It's like when you it's when you enter in, you know, into your calendar, pay rent every week until date, and then date has passed, and it's not in there anymore. That's what's happened. Like, it's exactly the same as that. It's just not there anymore. Uh, maybe with the unrest in the company. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, yeah, okay, that, that will be causing distraction from a lot of things in terms of, like, workflow and stuff, but I don't think they're going to cancel the Dark Moon Fair because of the lawsuit and stuff. I don't think that's, uh, yeah. A lot of things going on this year for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. I won't be in the calendar at all for the future, but it was that way before. Before what? Like... I mean, there was the, the calendar used to be fucking bare. There was nothing in the calendar at all. Um, and you literally used it for scheduling your own guild shit and stuff like that. But um, since they've started using it properly, shit, like all that kind of shit's been in there, then I, I doubt that they're just going to remove DMF from the calendar forever and still have it run in-game. Like, they want to make sure people know when content is happening so that they log in to do the content. This has happened previously. Yes, however... It wasn't in the calendar, but the event still ran. No, stop. The Dark Moon Fair still occurred, it just wasn't in the calendar. Whereas this time, the whole shit be broken. Like, it's, this, is, this is a different thing. The whole thing is not working. Uh, Jailer or along with first part of his plan, destroying the DMF to make us suffer. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, DMF used to be a thing until the Fire Nation attacked. Oh dear. Bested by the likes of 
Yeah, I think um, those who are monitoring the forums during this holiday break are going to start seeing it up. Like, they'll have uh, tools that will scan the forums for keywords and stuff. And so if certain keywords start popping up more frequently, it will alert them, to, like, without having to read the threads, it'll alert them to the fact that something is broken that a lot of people are trying to access. So they'll start having an uptick in the word Dark Moon or DMF or something like that. Um, and they'll see that and go, well, shit. And then they'll start having a look at a couple of the threads and go, ah, fuck. Uh, and then they will call in whoever's on call over the holiday period and be like, excuse me, we need some devs. Uh, <laughs> We need assistance, uh, and then and then we will get some kind of communication. It's hilarious. All right. Everything must burn. Nonsense. Fire. No pants. Channel, Def, Bay, Zam, and Equi, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Hmm. There we go. Healer's done. Collect that quest. Wonderful, and now it's just leveling and earning gold. I like chips. They're tasty. I do what happened to my Scarlet Tabard. Uh, void storage. Check all tunes. Well, it might be. Um, do you still have it in your transmog thingy? Hey, a tree. Welcome back. Got it in transmog. Looks. Isn't there? I feel like there's a tabard vendor in Dalaran that sells tabards that you have had previously, that you've unlocked the ability to have so that you can like buy them back and shit, I feel like, but I could be wrong. And also this one might not apply to that as well because of the way that it's got. But um, if you've got something like Altaholic installed, you should be able to search all of their bags anyway. Like all their bags, banks, transmogs, like uh, all their, sorry, void storage, all that kind of shit. 
just use it, like searching it in the add-on rather than having to chop and change through all the tunes. Much easier. Also, like if you have, uh, I think it's, I think it's Altaholic. It could be TSM. Um, when you go in here, oh, it's not on this list, is it? Yeah, it wasn't on this list. Hmm. Never mind. Because you could hover over that and um, it'd tell you who has it and where, but. Yeah. But yeah, like if you hover over something, it tells you down the bottom of see here, Melissa's got three, Domitori's got two, and Repressly's got five. Um, even if you get the link from Wowhead to paste it in game and click it, like click the tran the thing here, it can it could possibly oh it doesn't tell you here. Okay, never mind. Sometimes it will. It will if you hover over it. Maybe not if you click it. So I can't show you, but it's there, I promise. And then if it doesn't show up in that tooltip, then yeah, you don't have it. TSM does that too. It must be TSM that's doing it then, not not Altaholic. Um, unless I've turned it off in one of them. I don't remember. Probably. Hmm... How was your Christmas and New Year? Yeah, no, it wasn't too bad at all. It was, um, it was good. Chill. Chill is good. I hope yours was as well. Did you hear something? I bleed. That is not <laughs> yeah. But I won't die. What? No. That's just me. No, I didn't know was very much the same. Stop. Awesome. Stop. Good news. Good to hear. Fell asleep at nine. Wonderful. Wonderful. Can has tabard, please. By the light, the... Fear have a tabard. No! Look, that's not very nice of you. Not very nice of you at all. What about pants? Can I have pants, Sam? <laughs> pants off, dance off. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, dear. No pants and inventory is full. <laughs> Didn't I just... Oh, good job. Sorry, I have to get Katie out. I think empty the bags properly.
is low. <clears throat> the tappet is extra to the um the the, the drop table though, right? Like you get your pieces of loot and a tabard. I have many, many wares. <sighs> May your feet find good trails. It's a trip stuck on my now. Uh, okay. Well, friend of the Grummels. I have many lucky do's you like. Right, uh, Katie. Good fortune to our friends. Why is this not marked as favorite? That oh, was already on my bars. <laughs> That's funny. Bye, you're a tall one. Very well then. I have this one. This one. Deals for a friend hey. of the Grummels. <laughs> you like you. Give me some to Fia. Awesome, back we go. Mm. Uh, well, I had noticed there isn't a DMF and they hope it'll be fixed next week, yeah. Yeah, so when yeah, they noticed, as in someone has reported it to them. Uh, oh, too many instances. Good. Oh, I have an Alliance Hunter, that's fine, okay. That's fine. <sighs> Pulling some of my chair, I'm gonna have to head to bed. No worries, Jack, rest well, and we will see you next time. Night night. Heck him up, Queen. No you, Barry. No you. How are you, my dear? Happy New Year to you. For the Alliance. Yeah, I know. Uh... Wait, no, us. Yeah, I like that. That's good. We'll go with that. Okay. All oh, right. Hmm. No wonder I logged in so quickly. Uh, I had my add-ons turned off, all of them, um, so that I could. What was the other one? Beach angle. Okay. Thank you. There's the chocolate. What's the saying? Right. I was doing all my garrison stuff this morning, 
and I found if I turn all my add-ons off, I can log in and out really fucking quickly. <laughs> About 50% done. Gathering leveling. Ah, oh, nice! That's in Final Fantasy, yeah. Well done, Barry. Well done. That's a huge milestone. Do I want to open this bag of salt vinegar chips or this bag of sour cream and onion chips? Sour cream and onion. How the fuck do I get to Scarlet Halls from Alliance? Oh, I have to do the... Right, this is a really long trip. Okay. This will be fine. I've got new stuff I needed. It's pretty much all farmed. Now I'm mining ship. Yay! Oh, that's so exciting. So exciting. Yes. Yeah. You do. Yes, you do want to open them. <laughs> Ugh. My sinus is having some trouble today. Morales, Jesus. This is gonna be a bit roundabout. Oh, right, because mana poof. Portal to Stratholm. Zygor, what would we do without you? We would spend several hours getting anywhere. Clearly. <clears throat> there we go. Out of thirteen. Hmm. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I got the tablet to drop on Alliance and then had had to spend my Alliance money for the appearances rather than my Horde money, of which there is more. Oh, hydrate. Need that. Mm. I forgot about the invisible wall. Another hydrate. <laughs> okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, you stupid noodle. Mm. I'm empty. I've got an ad starting in about 20 seconds, so I'm going to go refill my bottle while that happens. Because this one's only 500 ml. I measured it. I filled it up and then I poured it into a measuring jug and it was bang on 500 ml. I was like, oh, that's not very much. <laughs> so I have to refill it. <laughs> it's too small. Um, Like, it's not. It's, it's good because it's like you can... It, carry it easily and stuff like it's not an enormous big thing like a bucket that you can't really carry reasonably well um but i've been drinking my my blue crew bottle is 888 mils and i've been trying to like i I've, i know that 888 isn't enough so if 888 is not enough then 500 certainly isn't enough um so i need to drink two of them 
uh, in a day to be like, to, to let myself tick off the um, completion of finishing my water for the day. You know, I'm trying to be taking care of my body and hydrating myself and shit. Um, yeah, so I have to, I have to have two of them. But, um, healthy shot. Okay. Yeah, uh, so there's an ad. I'm gonna be right back. Down.
I've returned. Hello. Greetings. Uh, all right. Sorry about that. Um, hello, V. Just sent it to me. No, I loves it though. It's so pretty. I like it so much. It's all right. Next round, Barry. You'll be right. Next round. Hey, do man. How you going? Welcome on in. Ah, uh, mimosa, my champagne was from Christmas, so it's flat. Still tastes good, but rip no bubbles. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> the dream. Fantastic. Glad you're doing well. Glad you're doing well. Turn his hair over with great joy. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. Oh dear. Jess has informed me we are having steak for dinner. I'm very happy about this development. <laughs> You're doing taking on all the dungeons? Well, I'm not really taking on all the dungeons. I'm taking on Scarlet Halls specifically. <laughs> Uh, and I'm doing it on all different characters rather than just Fia because the stuff that I need on Fia to get her completion up can drop on anything. So I thought I'd try to get, like, for example, there's there's a male pair of legs here that can't drop on Fia. But Fia's stuff can drop on the hunter. So, yeah, it's, um, also I realized that the tabard that I want, um, it, like, I need the actual item on a mail wearer and on a plate wearer to get other stuff that's associated with it. So I'm like, fuck. Um, so yeah, this is, this is helping. And if I get to the point where I've gotten all of the boss drops, except the tabard, and all I have left is zone drops across all armor types, um, those zone drops could also drop from Scarlet Monastery. So I'm going to switch to Scarlet Monastery instead, because um, this is getting a bit too much. I'm trying to trying to be efficient. Hmm. Dude. Hey, Kaz, how you going? Love your red hair? Thank you. It comes from a bottle. I dyed it, I re-dyed it last night. So um, because the dye I use is semi-permanent, permanent hair dye can can absolutely destroy your hair. Like it, like it, it's not very good for the physical structure of your hair. It can make it feel a bit dry and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it can over time totally destroy the, the hair structure. Um, so I use semi-permanent dye, which is a little bit better for it. Not, it's still not great, but it's a bit better. Um, and because it's semi-permanent, I can leave it in overnight. Um, rather than just putting it in, leaving it for an hour or so, and then washing it out. Um, so I put it in at night time, and then I wrap my head in glad wrap. Not my face, just, just the back of my, where the hair is, because otherwise I'd die. Uh, wrap everything up in glad wrap, in cling film, and then go to bed and sleep with the, with the hair dye in. And then wash it out in the morning. And so I washed it out this morning. I put the dye in last night, washed it out this morning, so it's hella fresh. Like, it's super, super fresh dye. Um, this is about as fresh as it will be and then it'll start fading um, over the next month before I do it again. Uh, but yeah, this is this is as bright as it gets, and I really quite like it. The brand is called Manic Panic, and the color is called Vampire Red, because of course it is. Um, yeah, thank you very much. I like it too. That's why I do it. <laughs> it really is popping today. Yeah, because it's super fucking fresh. As is all of my towels. It looks like I've cleaned up a murder scene with my towels because all the water was red, because of the hair dye. <laughs> Look good, thank you, Ju. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I do have a bit like on my skin around my hairline and stuff, and that over the next few days when I shampoo my hair and like, you know, cleanse my scalp and stuff, that'll come off, but it, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not exactly an artist when it comes with getting my hairline right. <laughs> <laughs> I either miss patches or I get it on my skin. Like I can't, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Glad I've had, that must be a hell of a look. It's uh, it's highly interesting. 
it's highly interesting. Maybe next month, if you guys remind me, I'll take a photo and show you how it looks. But it's not too bad. Like, I usually, because I do my hair in, like, when I dye it, I do it in two. And then as I do it section by section, I kind of twist it all together so that it kind of stays put and doesn't go everywhere. And so when I've got these two, two twisted bits of hair, I kind of just sort of wrap them up over the top and then like pin them so that they pin up like that and then just wrap that whole thing in glass. Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad, but it's also not the most attractive thing on the planet, but it works. It means that I don't get hair dye all over my pillows and clothes and everywhere. <laughs> it means I don't get literally hair dye everywhere. Uh, Cause it's, it does that. It, it really, it gets places. It gets places. Um, my mom's hair got completely ruined through red hair dye. Now she has short hair. It's, um, well, do you mean ruined as in, like, it fried the hair and it was all, like, dead and gross and all that kind of stuff? Or, like, it stained the hair and wouldn't wash out by the end of it? Like, wouldn't be stripped properly? That's the wrong button. This is the button I'm looking for. Um, because, yeah, it, it does both of those things. Like, permanent hair dye will fry your hair. Especially, like, home box dye will completely, like, there's, um, when my hair starts to fade, um, there's a line about here-ish where it goes from like kind of pinkish red, which is like what it is now, but faded. And then it goes like orange at the ends because that's where I used to use box dye. And it's that I've had that much regrowth since I stopped using box dye. And you can tell like touching my hair, you can feel what hair, which hair has been box dyed and which hasn't. Um, it's, it's huge. Like it's an incredible difference. Um, but yeah, that's why I've switched to semi-permanent because it just does so much better for my hair. Uh, worst part of red hair is how long it decides to stain everything. Yeah, yep. Absolutely. You have to like not care about your towels at all. Uh, I'm lucky that my bathroom is all black tiles. Um, so the grout is probably straight stained to shit, but it's black grout, so you can't tell. <laughs> um, pride, yeah. Yeah, any, any hair dye. Any hair dye will fry your hair, especially bleach. Anything that has lightener in it will will fry your hair, absolutely. Um, depending on how often you use it and stuff as well. Uh, v, Whiskey, Meaty, and Little, congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, but Manic Panic is essentially like a deep conditioning treatment with pigment in it. Um, so the longer you leave it in, the more vibrant the color is going to be. And you can leave it in overnight. You can leave it in for even longer if you chose to, because it's, it is literally like at the moment, the ends of my hair actually feel half healthy in a week after shampooing and stuff, they'll feel dead again. But because of how intensely caring the product is, like it's actually really fucking good for your hair, um, even though it's got pigment in it. Uh, which is why I picked it in particular because of uh, because I had previous experience with it and I know how well it works. Um, but yeah, and it, it does such wondrous things for my hair. I swear to God. Did you hear something? I bleed. Um, <laughs> hair dye just confess the murder. It's okay. You're in a safe space. <laughs> what? Uh, interesting. Yeah, I have a pillow and pillowcases specifically when I dye my hair red. Yeah, I, um, I don't have a specific pillow because I don't really care so much if my pillow gets stained because you put a pillowcase on the pillow anyway. It, it doesn't bother me. Um, but I do have old black um, pillowcases uh, that I use when I when I'm like when I've got my hair my head wrapped in the glad wrap. Like I'll it's it's on my uh, on my uh, pillow at the moment because I used it last night and I couldn't be fuck changing it this morning. Uh, but failing that, I wrapped the pillow in a black towel. Um, but yeah, because it because it doesn't have any lighteners in it, um, it doesn't like destroy anything, which is nice. But yeah, love me the bonus shits. Yeah, it's got my hair bleached a couple weeks back. You'd never be able to tell. Hairstyles absolutely adores my hair. It's just thick and incredibly strong. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, mine's not. Mine's not. Um, but it's because, um, firstly, like my mum, as she's getting older, her hair is thinning. So there's a genetic component to it. Um, 
Well, I mean, like when I was younger, I had very, very thick, very luscious hair and all that kind of stuff. But as I'm getting older, it's thinning. It's age, genetics. It sucks. It is what it is. Uh, but also, I have an autoimmune condition. And the, the drugs that I'm on for that and the drugs that I have been on in the past for that fuck with my body chemistry. And one of the things that it did was made my hair thin. My hair was exceptionally brittle for a while, as were my nails. My nails have kind of always been a little bit funky, but they got worse when I was on one of the particular meds that I was on. Um, they're getting they they're getting there now, um, but they're still not super healthy. But that's you know, <laughs> do I want to be able to walk or do I want thick hair? <laughs> that's that's not even a question for me. Like, that's literally I would like to be. Physically healthy. If my hair is thin, oh well. Find a new hairstyle to do. Like, fuck. Um, but yeah, so. Multitudes of reasons for, for things to not be quite what we want them to be. I'm kind of biased to enjoy the walking. Well, so am I, but like... You know, it's it's a cosmetic thing, like you know, the the thickness and the lusciousness of your hair, versus a functionality thing, and and you know that's yeah, that's not even a question for me. I would happily, um, happily lose hair to be able to. Well, not happily, but you know, <laughs> I I would still choose to take the medication even though that that was a side effect. For sure. Uh, right, I have a hydrate. I'm going to do that in just a second. Mm. Mm. Be willing to. Exactly, yeah. For sure. For sure. Like, there are, there are some side effects that I would not live with. I, I would prefer to stop the medication, even if it meant that my knee swelled back up and, and I couldn't walk properly. Because the other, like, the side effects were just horrific and massively affected my quality of life or whatever. But, yeah, I, I don't think thinning hair is enough of a quality of life detriment to me to, to stop taking those kind of meds. Personally. Each to their own. Everyone is going to have their own um, take on that, and that's totally understandable. But this is just my personal preference. Hmm. It does kind of suck having to make those kind of choices, though. I would rather not have to. But yeah, I've had a shampoo for a while now that I got in, like, a subscription box. That is supposed to be, like, supposed to encourage hair growth and, like, thick hair and blah 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 blah. And it just... Firstly, I don't think it's doing anything. Except... Um, over cleansing my hair. Have you ever, like, if you, if you wash your hair and it feels kind of, almost kind of sticky, like there's no flow to it and it gets tangled really easily and it's just really dry and, and stringy and it almost kind of feels sticky when you roll your, when you run your fingers through it because it's just so stripped. That whole like squeaky clean feeling, but then really, really dry and gross. Yep. That's what it's kind of been doing. So I don't know if it's actually like, hmm, I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm um, like, I'm going to use it up. There's not a whole lot of it left. I think I've got maybe a quarter of the bottle left. Um, but I'm really, I'm really excited because this is my last bottle of shampoo and conditioner in my stash. For those of you who are relatively new here, I have an enormous stash of makeup, skincare, hair care, this stuff that I've accumulated over the last years of my life. I don't know how long, maybe five or six years, maybe longer. Um, there's been a lot of times where, like, um, oopsie, uh, places will do, like Priceline, for example, in Australia, Priceline is a like a pharmacy um, drugstore kind of place. And... Um, it, they'll do like a, you know, spend $40 across these participating brands and receive a goodie bag 
full of $300 worth of products from those participating brands, right? And the idea is it's trying to encourage you to try some of their new products in the hopes that you'll enjoy it and you'll repurchase them in future. Uh, and so I used to, and they used to have them out that they'd come out every couple months for years. And I used to get them every fucking time. So I had a lot of makeup, a lot of hair care, a lot of skincare, and then like things like advent calendars and minis and all, I just, I can't help myself. So I get all these samples and I had a subscription box to a, a beauty box thing. So every month I'd get a box with like five little, like mini bottles of, of cleanser or skincare or a new lipstick or something, just all this kind of stuff, right? So I have a shitload of crap, like a shitload of crap. And I, I kind of, I've canceled my subscriptions um, to the the subscription boxes, which hurt because I love those things. I love getting a present every month. <sighs> I loved getting a present every month, but I can't because it's money and I don't need what's in the boxes. So no. Um, so I canceled all those. Um, I didn't have any, any skincare or makeup advent calendars last year. That's a huge deal for me. It's the first year in like five or six years that I didn't get a beauty advent calendar, but I didn't. I did get a tea one from my mum and now I have way too much tea. <laughs> that's another, that's a totally a different matter. Um, but yeah, so all this stuff and I, I'm trying to get through it. Like I'm trying to use up stuff. So when I get to the point where I'm on my last bottle of something of a particular, so like I had 12 bottles of shampoo, for example, like most of them were travel size, right? But they still existed. And now I'm on my last bottle of shampoo and my last bottle of conditioner. And that's so exciting to me that I actually have to consider what the fuck I'm going to buy to replace them. So that's an interesting thing. Uh, I've been looking at uh, the subreddit. I think it's just called curly hair or something. I don't know, but they do like the curly girl method. Uh, and they've got like this whole database of curly hair safe hair products for their, their specific, because there's a specific routine that's designed to take really good care of curly hair. I don't have curly hair. It's, it's quite obvious I don't have curly hair, but I do have wavy hair. Uh, and when I take care of it properly, the waves really come out and they're, they're awesome. I fucking love my wavy hair, but I have to really take care of it properly. And so, but I didn't want to get rid of all of my stash and buy new products for this routine because it's like so much money that I'd just be throwing in the bin and I can't afford to do that. Um, so I've been working through my hair care stuff, trying to use it all up so that I can buy stuff that's curly hair safe. Right? And so like, this is the first thing that I'm actually going to be able to buy is, is I'm not supposed to buy shampoo. I'm only supposed to buy conditioner and do co-wash, but I still have a lot of like washout treatments and leave-in treatments and, and styling products and stuff that aren't curly, girl, curly hair safe, but I still want to use them up. So I'm thinking I get shampoo so that I can wash that stuff out of my hair properly but get shampoo that's it because there's a there's a tresemme conditioner that's apparently really good for co-washing so i'm thinking i get the shampoo of that conditioner as well and just use the two of them until i've run out of all the other stuff and then transition to just doing co-washes and stuff but i don't know i'm nervous because i have really 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 oily hair and the idea of not using shampoo makes my brain go Pfft. um but you know we're a few months off that because i still have a shitload of other products to use up <laughs> I'm just, look, 98% of you do not give a shit, but I'm just so excited. This is, this is, this is exciting. Trust me. Promise. Promise. This is a big deal. A big deal with a capital B and a capital D. I promise. Um, sticky. Yeah, not, not like as in there's stuff on your hair, but like your hair is sticking to itself. It's the, it's the weirdest thing to try to explain, but like when you run a brush through it, it kind of gets caught at a particular, but there's no knots there. It's just, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to explain. The only way I can kind of, the only way I can think of to explain it is sticky. I cannot think of another adjective that fits properly. Someone else might have one that fits better, but um, yeah, I found a shampoo and conditioner that is absolute wonders my hair and scalp. Hey, it's a pricey one from the salon. I've noticed such a huge difference. Yeah, salon products absolutely do make a difference, 100%. Um, I'm, I want to try the, the Tresemme stuff that, um, the subreddit recommends simply because, um, it's, it is cheap, yet it's still recommended by people who have proper curly hair. Um, 
And cheap means that the extra money I would be spending on it can go into my dental fund. You know, like it's, or pay for emotes. Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of, yeah. Um, I absolutely, re like I recognize that salon hair care is far superior to drugstore for the most part. Like it absolutely is. But I want to see if I can get away with something cheap. And if I can't, then I understand that. And I'll move back onto my salon stuff. Because I have used salon stuff that was wonderful before. Uh, and I'd gladly go back to using that. But um, I want to give it a go and see how I travel. We will see. We will see. Hello, Hidden. I've only just started spending a bit more on moisturizer. My skin on my face does feel a bit softer to the touch now. Moisturizer is amazing. Moisturizer is wonderful. Jesus. We've had a lot of sirens around here lately. Like a lot of sirens around here lately. It's kind of unnerving. Um, but yeah, moisturizers work absolute wonders if you get a good one. I love putting uh, facial oil on at night, and then when I wake up in the morning, it's all soaked in, and my skin just is like, oh, it's so good. It's so nice. I, I have too much fucking skincare. Again, I'm trying to work through it and not buy any more, but, um... They hath dropperated! Amazing. 9 out of 13. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. Okay. So, I think now it's just plate. So we have that's plate. That's a two handed mace, and then that's plate. Which plate wearer can use two handed maces? Didn't want to buy expensive product for my hair, so I shaved my head. Valid choice, Bink. Uh, Burke. Burke. Val valid choice. Welcome on in. I'm so sorry I said your name wrong. <laughs> my apologies. But yes, that is perfect choice. Love that for you. Love it. Cost effective indeed. Real world, not ATT. Yeah, the like the sirens going on in the background. Not, not a... Hmm... Uh, I know what you mean, female sister use the same thing with certain champions. Yeah, I use total results matrix. Keep me vivid. Beautiful. They're in a fucking rush. They were in a fucking rush. Sometimes a hairdresser. We use the cheaper shampoo and conditioner. I can find out what good if you want. Oh, that'd be very kind. That's it's very kind of you to offer hidden. Um, but there's a, um, uh, the... The internet is wonderful at this kind of stuff, uh, and there is a subreddit that's full of hairdressers and people who have curly hair and all this kind of stuff, and they've kind of narrowed it down to a bunch of ingredients that work really well, and ingredients that really do not work well, that are bad and that you should avoid, uh, and then they've kind of put together a database of shampoos and conditioners that have the good ingredients and don't have the bad ingredients, so it's totally fine. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um... But thank you so much for the offer anyway. I I appreciate it. Random sirens, indeed. D Jess, who did you kill again? Is it the Pope? Did you kill the Pope again? Always. Paladins! Alright, awesome. Thank you. Halalalalaladin. Because I don't... Can warriors use two-handed maces? And I don't think DKs can. I don't think DKs can use maces. I could be wrong. I don't know. Paladin. We can go with Paladin. I, I think I've got a Paladin... Uh, yeah, I do. I've got a 50 palette on on both sides, so that'll be nice and easy. Uh, not that clicked on for that. That's okay. Totally fine, Hidden. Totally fine. And hello, Moz. Welcome on in. Our warriors and DKs can use... So all of them can. Fucking awesome. Okay. Noted. Try the sleep thing again. No worries, Mins. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Where is axes and swords? Oh, shit. Add-ons, right. Red Pally, Blood DK, or Warrior. Warriors can use most things, I feel like. Warriors can use everything. Yep, there you go. There you go. Aside from ones, uh, I believe. 
Whoa. All right, I, I finished the chips. That's sad. I, I has a sad. There's all these empty packets of snacks around me, and I need to not because if I, if they're there, I'm like, oh, snack, and then it's empty, and I'm like, oh, makes me sad. Chip packet now, and I will deal with you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a Palais Paladin. This is four of 11. This is 13. Oh, uh, I mustn't have shit. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. I don't think I've updated the paladin's count since I realized I'd fucked it. There we go, yep. Yeah. I can get everything from this tune. Shouldn't change the list at all. Well, the BOEs will change. Yeah, perfect. Cool. This is exciting. And then I can jump into Scarlet Monastery in an attempt to get the uh, BOEs. Although, have I finished SM Unfair? No, I haven't. I've only got one thing left, which is going to be. She's gonna be the BOA. Fuck. Okay. Hmm. What is the chance I'm gonna end up buying all these BOEs? <laughs> of course I wouldn't I wouldn't buy them until I get the tablet to drop, because there'd be no point otherwise. Because I could be running it trying to get the tablet and then have the yep. Right, so Paladin, AoE, best way to, to farm shit on a Paladin. What are we looking at? She can be achieved, it is! It is. Why am I in prod? Okay, Consecration. Four second cooldown. Yeah, that's okay. I guess that's all right. Big shield through consecration. Hmm. Okay. That's all right then. Shield of the right. No, that's melee range. What is shield throw? What is the actual name of shield throw? Avengers shield? Yes. No. That's a silence. Oh, I'm jumping to four nearby enemies. Yeah, okay. So it's Avengers shield. Cool. Perfect. That's right. Consecration should do me. I don't think I'll need two because they're low level as fuck. <laughs> 
Perfection. Okay, let's do this. Fear wants a tabard. Fear wants a tabard. Oh, it drops under you. You can't, like, target it. Okay, noted. Wait. Oh, it's a ring. Fuck off. <laughs> grab this one. Archers, attack! Nah, I'm gonna need the thing for this. I can't get close enough to do the shield. Keep firing! Let none escape! Keep firing! Let none escape! Keep firing! Let none escape! Another down. Requires shield. I'm not, not using relent. a shield. <laughs> well, okay, so Avenger's shield is off the table. That's fine. Um, I get the Embers. Good. Good. Shield throws his group of mobs to split or flying, like, like um, doing Bella Hydra. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. It's a secret until I get it added. Love that. Keep firing. Let none escape. Keep firing. Let none escape. Another down. Do not relent. Yep. Fucking. Uh, definitely not sick of that at all. Be fine with it. Uh. Okay, canine commander's breastplate. Kill them all. I bleed. <laughs> but I won't Keep firing. They have escaped. Yep. Exactly. Enjoy your luck, V. Nah, crossbow. Double crossbow. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> By the likes of no tabard. Sparkle pile. Is it in the wall or something? I hate when this happens. Oh no, there it is. 
Just uh, fucking camouflage. There we go. Knew there was a word for it. Everything must burn. None shall know the sky. Fire. Us. Gone hard. Neither of the things I need. That's okay. That's okay. I'm laughing when looked at by I have posted GMF, one of the comments is let's not read too much into this, but basically confirms 10.0 will be a Dark Moon Fair themed expansion. <laughs> oh dear. There was one comment and I didn't bother to read it. I just... Mm. I've trained myself finally to ignore the wowhead <laughs> comments because it just... Oh. Occasionally you get a golden one like that, but more often than not they're just trash. Alright, I have a hydrate. And I have a stretch. So, I had an email from Throne today, Throne being the, the wish list thing that I use, and um, it told me that there was an issue with one of the items that had been purchased, and I was like, fuck, what's wrong? It turns out Etsy doesn't allow gifting of digital items. So you can't buy something at like something digital like a cross stitch pattern for somebody as a gift and have an email and have it emailed to them rather than emailed to you. Um, so Throne can't do it. Throne can't do them, which I feel really bad about because that was a really awesome pattern. And so I had to. There's a like a button to refund um, if if someone has purchased something. So I had to find something similar. For the same or like similar or, or lower price or refund i'm like like can you not just like make an etsy gift card for the value or something i don't know it was a bit yeah but so i had to refund them i had to refund rump because the cross stitch pattern can't be gifted so now i've learned a new thing that means i'm not going to be putting cross stitch patterns on my throne wish list which kind of sucks um but there's that i've learned a thing and learning is important. Uh, there we go. But a whole lot of stuff has shipped. Uh, all the all the tops um, from Yesstyle have shipped. Uh, the the, the jewellery box that Nano bought has shipped from Yesstyle. Um, uh, the the lovers in the air lights from Midi, the the heart shaped pink lights, they've shipped. Uh, my um, I think the tweezers, the the eyelash tweezers have shipped, um, and the jeans. Like, there's a ton of stuff that's shipped. A ton of stuff has been shipped. Um, yeah, the string, the string lights, the the dress from thingy, the skirt, and my hair dye from Berserk have been shipped. But it's still processing Ring, Ring Fit Adventure, and I'm like... <laughs> like, ah, That's okay. I, I just have to learn a bit of patience. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
This looks about the patterns. At least you have a shit ton of goodies soon. I am. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Actual clothing that has no holes in it. You like? I'm so excited. Oh my god. We'll have to do like a. We'll have to do like a fashion show of some kind. Maybe I'll have to do it like on on Instagram or TikTok or something. Because I'm not sure how I'd do it on um, on Twitch without. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And maybe I'll just go by myself that fucking pattern. <laughs> no, stop. Obey your master. Tokens! Congratulations to Rallo, Grubin, Death, Fade, Dew, Meaty, and Spam on all of your bonus shits. I hope that you got a decent number of tokens. Oh look, we can go for the gold chest as well. I didn't even think of that. Fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. There we go. Place your units. Oh my god, 127 out of 130. That's amazing. So close. How much was the pattern? Etsy ones don't tend to run high from what I remember. It depends on the creator, but yeah, it was when I listed it, it was like eight bucks. And now it's like six and a half bucks. So yeah, I will probably. I will probably just pick it up. Um, the only. No breastplate. The only issue is that I have that really big one that I'm working on that I kind of want to get done. So I feel like I shouldn't buy any more patterns until I finish the one I'm working on. And then I had that thought, I don't know if you were here when I was talking about it, Shiba, about stitching my subs each month and like advertising that as a, like have your username immortalized on a banner as like a, as a sub benefit. I don't know if people actually give a shit about that, but I feel like some people might. Um, I got the idea from 8-Bit Stitch, who does, she stitches her subs, her Patreon and Twitch subs yearly, like annually. Um, you need, right? So like, I'm thinking like, cause I've got some pretty fancy fabric that I don't know what the fuck, I, I don't know what else I would use it for. Um, like I can't think of anything. So what I would kind of do is um, make a pattern, like extract at the end of the month, extract all my subs and then make a pattern that has like the month, like January, 2022. And that has like, tier three, tier two, and tier one and prime subs in like slightly different font sizes. Um, you know, tier three would be a bit bigger, tier two would be a little bit smaller, and then tier one and, and prime would be like regular size. Um, and then like different colors, depending on how long they've been subbed for, like what their tenure is. And then if people had gifted subs, I could put the little gift badge next to their name as well, that kind of thing. And it shouldn't, I say this, it shouldn't take too long to stitch compared to some of my other projects simply because there's no like fancy like jump here change colors do this do that there. it's all like in big blocks so it's faster to do because i'm not chopping and changing constantly um but yeah that's kind of what i'm do i don't want to promise it just yet because i don't know how long it'd take um i don't know if i'd have time but i would really like to do something like that because firstly i want to like appreciate you guys um, and I also want to spend some more time being crafty. Like, I don't I don't spend a whole lot of time being crafty these days. I spend a lot of time working, <laughs> not a lot of time being crafty. So, yeah. Uh, how are you doing this new year? Pretty well, thank you, Neke. Pretty well, thank you for asking. I hope you are too. Hope you can say the same. I want a cross stitch stream, goddammit. I keep getting videos on TikTok of people doing it. Makes me want to see you do it again. But every time I do it, the numbers suck. Every time I cross stitch, no one shows up. Like literally, it it like I get less than half my numbers. And I know, you know, it's not all about the numbers. I get that. But I'm trying to go full time here. And a sponsor sees a stream like that and goes, uh, maybe not. She's not worth it. You know? And it it's stupid and it sucks. But it's the truth. It's the reality. But maybe if I was stitching sub names, people would actually care. The last time you did cross-stitch numbers were good. Uh, they weren't as, like... I think we, we have we have had this conversation about, oh, like, maybe about a month ago or so. Um, and the thought was it would probably be... When I was doing the cross-stitch on my big project, like my, my Hade one, 
maybe that wasn't so interesting because people couldn't see the progress happening. It wasn't happening fast enough. There was no picture coming out for them to see. Like it wasn't that kind of interesting. But if maybe if I was stitching sub names and stuff and you, you could actually see it happening, maybe that would be more interesting. Hmm. Maybe we give, mm, look, we'll see how we go in February. Maybe if I get my 50-50s done and I have a spare stream before Lovers in the Air starts. Maybe. Slow start of the year, got the date set for the Baby Yoda, Yoda Lego build. No, not yet, because I don't have the Baby Yoda Lego in my hands. Um, I didn't want to schedule it until I had it, just in case we had any issues. Uh, I believe that it's at the post office, um, but tracking sometimes lies, so I didn't want to set it until it actually happened. Hmm... Crustish doesn't have ATT collection potential drops. No, it doesn't. There's not like, um, it's a different kind of, it's a different kind of interesting. But yeah, it's, um, I do, I do love cross stitch. I just need to find a way to make it work with the channel. Like if I was doing, for example, if I was doing a World of Warcraft themed stitch, I'd probably get a few more people, but not with the one I was working on. But I can't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit, um, taking risks with the stream is, uh, it sucks. Because there are all these things that I want to do, but they don't seem to work. And it, yeah, it kind of sucks. But that's okay, we'll figure it out. Figure it out. Uh, I get sucked right into watching TikTok videos and cross stitching. My brain cannot compute what's happening, but it just totally enthralls me. I love that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. God, there are so many more things that I would love to exp if I had the time if I was if I was streaming full time I feel like I'd have more time to experiment with and having one stream that was a flop wouldn't make as much of a difference it wouldn't be as like it wouldn't drag my numbers down by as much because there would be more streams to prop it up to you know what I mean like to make the average but look, we'll we'll see. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. This again. When they make it look so easy and flawless. There are some people out there who are just absolutely amazing and can just. I can't. I am. I'm still very fiddly with mine. But um, yeah, there are incredible people. Just wonderful skills. Canine Commander's breastplate. Yes. Hey! Amazing. Wouldn't it be nice when I don't need any more of the zone drops and I can just run straight in? Grab the tablet and get out. If you change what you stream, you'll likely lose some of your audience. People come for what they like. Assuming there's an audience for your new thing, over time you build up that new audience. This is something similar in your more collection space. Wow, instead of raids, instead of, yep, yep, it absolutely does. And now if I try doing raids or Mythic Plus and stuff, like it, it definitely you can see the difference. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah, that's exactly how it is. But the problem is, I'm at a point in my career now, Kaz, where I am actually making a difference. Like I'm getting sponsorships, and I'm I'm getting I'm making those connections. Um, and I'm at a really crucial point of my career where if I play my cards right and if I keep growing and doing the right thing on stream, then I could lock in some quite lucrative contracts. And then once I've done that, I can negotiate with them around experimenting with a few things, but I'll have that stability 
even if I have like one shitty stream, you know, like that's kind of the, tr I'm, I'm trying to get to that point because at the moment, if I have one shitty stream and it drags my average from like 80 down to 64, then that's a big fucking difference to, to a sponsor, to a potential sponsor. But once I've locked them in and if I can negotiate to have that particular stream where I experiment with something and they're okay with it, then I still have the stability. It's okay if it flops because I'm not going to lose out on anything because I've already got it. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, Every sign must burn. Huh, look, it's... I'm having fun. I'm having fun. There are there are so many things that I'm learning and getting done and like lining up and all this kind of, I'm just, I'm having so much fun. And I cannot wait to see what 2022 brings. I am, I'm fucking excited you guys. I'm fucking excited. And you should be too. Uh, another lady I follow finished her year long temperature blanket which that she crocheted at a group of like five colors represented different temps every day. She crochet a line responds to the temp that day. I've seen those kind of things and they're really cool. They're also really fucking scary, uh, especially if people are using the same, um, the same colors in the same blocks, like there's like the same colors to represent the same temperatures over years and the blankets just keep getting warmer and warmer. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Um, Hope you get over that threshold. Thank you. Me too, Kaz. You do you. This is this is the big thing, hey. Everything I do, I do enjoy. It's not like I'm, oh, I wish I could do cross-stitch because fuck, I hate doing ATT stuff. It's not at all like that. Everything I do, I'm doing it because I enjoy it. It's just a matter of picking and choosing the stuff I enjoy that has the best results. You know? That's kind of the, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm, uh... Look, things are happening. Things are happening, and I, I just can't wait for them to come to fruition. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting. Okay. No, I think I can do another run. Let's go. Give me a tabard. Give me a tabard. Want a tabard? Give me a tabard. Want a tabard? Give me a tabard. And the crustish food in Discord. Ah, brilliant. Awesome. I will eventually take a look, just not. <laughs> Good evening, Seeker. Congratulations. How are you? <laughs> it's mesmerizing. Oh, fuck yeah. So many different crafty things are, aren't they? Sheeps. Like, they're just, they're so good. So good. Keep firing! Let another not... down! Another Do not... down! Do not relent! Keep firing! Let none escape. Very well, thanks for everyone else's too. I am. I can't speak for anyone else, obviously, but I definitely am. Thank you for asking. Or hoping, I should say. Bonk. No friendly stop. That makes me happy. Oh, good. I'm glad. Should we just see watching my streams double speed? You have COVID ill family. Yeah, and Liz as well. Just found out in the last hour. My sister. Oh, shit. Oh, Seeker, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's, um. Yeah. This, this round is going to be pretty. From what I've been reading. Hey Mika, good morning. From what I've been reading, uh, Omicron is incredibly virulent, so it spreads really easy, really quickly, and just zips around and... Oh, you're looking for another bandit. Okay. <laughs> um, it just, like, it zips around really quick and gets everyone. Um, but early indications are showing that it's not as deadly. Like, it still gets you sick, obviously, and there are still going to be people who whose bodies just can't do the thing. Um, but it seems like it should hopefully take fewer lives, but more people will be infected. Um, 
which is kind of scary as fuck. So I'm just not going to not leave the house. Cool? Cool. Makes you so much more grateful for the safety of being able to be at home lots. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like I, yeah, I can't imagine. And I, I can't imagine being in a job that requires you to like leave the house and go and do stuff and, and not just that, but deal with fuckheads who won't take this seriously as well. Like, I mean, having to work out in, in the community is one thing, but having like being forced to work in close proximity with people who refuse to take it seriously would just, oh God, I would lose my shit. Are you me? me? Yeah, not so rude as to assume as you're feeling fortunate. No, I am, I'm definitely feeling fortunate. I have two jobs and both of them are from home. How much more fortunate could I possibly be? Like, fuck me, you know, like what, <laughs> you know? That is, that is hugely fortunate. Hugely fortunate. And I have a Jass who can go and do the groceries and stuff if, I, if I'm feeling particularly vulnerable one day and I don't want to leave the house, you know what I mean? Like, I am, I am exceptionally fortunate. Um, I am perfectly comfortable with you assuming as such of me. I also love that you're watching VODs on double speed. That just makes my heart so happy. Do I sound like a chipmunk? <laughs> Excellent conversation relating to trans and non-binary persons experiences. Want to say big thanks to the two parties who were sharing their perspectives. Yeah, absolutely. It was a great conversation. That was really wonderful. Yes, you're definitely chipmunk fear eating pizza. Good. Did you get to the part where I had to put the Blingtron voice on. I can't imagine what that will do to your speakers slash headset. To slow it down, yeah! <laughs> I, I imagine so. That's hilarious. That's so good. I'm glad you've had a chance to be able to catch up though. That's really awesome. Realized I was heavy frowning. Yeah. <laughs> like brain, no compute. Do not want. <sighs> Trying to interpret. Yeah. Yep. Ah, pfft. come on. Two more pieces from Kogla. Two more. And then of course the BOEs, like the zone drops and the, uh, the tabard. Hmm. Maybe I should title the stream entirely too much Scarlet Holes. I kind of like Paladin for farming this stuff, like dropping a Consecrate, looting everything and running away. I mean, I mean, like the monk was much nicer in terms of just being able to activate that brewmaster talent and just walk through stuff and have it just fall over. That was really nice. But and Paladin's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to follow that recipe you kindly shared tomorrow. Yay! Paladins are amazing. It's funny because earlier today we were just having a discussion about how people didn't like Paladins. Still sticking with the priest for the moment. Priest, I, mm, priest is a bit awkward. I know you've got mind seer, but I just feel like it kills everything so slowly, personally. But maybe it's just because I'm used to having arcane explosion where I press a button and everything explodes, literally. So good, extremely easy to follow. Yay! I've been looking for I've been looking for recipes to use up all those sprinkles that I still have, all those hundreds and thousands from Fairy Bread Day, and I think I found one. I think I found one that's going to be really easy and that I can do a massive batch of and just win. Because I used some to make, um, I made uh, fairy bread truffles for Christmas in case you missed it. 
Um, it was like 450 grams of Madeira cake, which is like a, it's kind of like a vanilla cake that's got some like orange oil in it. So it's kind of a little bit fresh. Uh, and you put that in a food processor and then you add melted chocolate to it to make it all stick together. And then you dip it in a really simple glaze, which is literally just icing sugar and water. And then you roll them in the sprinkles and then that's it. And then you let them set, right? And that was really tasty, but they were really fiddly. Um, and I, I don't know, like I wasted quite a lot of um, icing sugar trying to do the, the glaze because you have to make a ton more glaze than you need and all this kind of stuff. Not that icing sugar is expensive or anything, I just don't like wastage. Um, so I feel like that'd be great for special occasions, really fun to do, really tasty too. But um, I feel like I need something that's a little simpler and I think I found it. I think I found it. So I'm bucking the trend, fantastic. We love trend bucking. The priest is a frustrating grind, but I want to get it to 68. You can have, I can have heals on you. Aw, Seeker, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for being so considerate. Holy shit. I don't know how much you like Paladin Sphere, considering you're fuck off. Fuck. Off. <laughs> I'm not a Paladin. Uh, no, I'm not. Fuck off. Now Jazz is yelling at me from the kitchen. Look what you've done, Zam. Look what you've done. <laughs> you know what I need to do is one day rock up to Pax in a fucking paladin cosplay and blow everybody's minds. Make myself a Scarlet Tabard and just rock up as a fucking paladin. <laughs> I mean, didn't the quiz tell you? Like, yeah, that's the whole point. And this is, no, I'm not a fucking paladin. But no, so, 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 I found a recipe for funfetti vanilla cookies. I don't know why it's called Funfetti. It's just, it's fucking confetti. Confetti is fun enough as it is. You don't need to put fun in the name. It drives me batty. But Funfetti um, vanilla cookies. Fialadin, look. Look you. And it, it's literally, literally vanilla cake mix, like a box cake mix in the flavor vanilla. Uh, two eggs and oil. I can't remember how much oil, but some oil. And you, you get the you cake mix, you add the eggs, you add the oil, you add a fuckload of sprinkles, and then you roll them into balls, and then they do the spread thing, they're soft bake. So they melt in the, they melt and spread out in the, in the oven. And that just sounds so goddamn easy. Uh, and I reckon I could do a shitload of cookies like that and just use up all my fucking sprinkles. I think that's a really good way to do it. Uh, if you, if you have an alliance character in Frostborn, I have a spare. The butcher you can have. Ah! Oh, this farming skeleton dungeons a few days ago and got two. Holy shit. Oh my god, Pigrot. That's hilarious. Um, I don't have any tunes on Frostmourne. Um, but who is Frostmourne connected to? Because I know Bath is the only only server that isn't connected anywhere. What's Frostmourne connected to? Um, fun. I'm getting the goals. How's it on Shiva? No, with pets and Drasby and those goals. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. All the goal hitting. All the goal hitting. I'm so glad. I can't believe we got two new 50s on Friday. Like, that's amazing. I'm so excited. I read that as Fee Aladdin. So Aladdin with a fiddle, naturally. Correct. Yep. Much more likely than a Fiamma Paladin. I think Jubei, ah. So all my ally tunes are on a month all. I think that's connected to Nagrand, no. Maybe Nagrand and Kale? I don't remember, I'm really bad. The Devil's Paladin. <gasps> no drops. I need Mograine's Immaculate Might and Pyretic Legguards. This is the big, th the Pyretic Legguards, I got hundreds of those fucking things on literally bonus roll chance. Holy and protection. What is my loot spec at the moment? It's prot, it's fine. Um, that doesn't matter in legacy content anyway, but I don't have bonus rolls, you numpties. Bonus rolls didn't exist in fucking classic. Um, much more likely than a fear paladin. She says that she's currently on a paladin. Look. Yeah, but I, it's not me though. It's Desi. Exactly, it's fucking Desi. Okay. Aladdin went down to Georgia looking for a soul to steal, indeed. Indeed. 
Dory is on Frostmon. There you go. Amazing. For a second there, I just had a mini heart attack because I can't feel... Yeah, okay, they're popping up. I can't feel my lashes. I've got new lashes on and I couldn't feel them and I thought maybe they'd fallen off. They haven't, but they kind of have. I don't think I put enough glue on them. They've got really, 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 really thin bands, so it was really hard to get enough glue on them to make them stick. Lashes are hard, you guys. Lashes are really hard. Uh, ooh, free for all. Will you allow me to type? Thank you. Currently farming dead mines for completion for ATT. Amazing! Gotta love that farming together. Well, not not together together, but like at the same time. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Need one more thing. Ah, oh. it is simultaneously the best and worst feeling, Dory, when it just will not drop, and then it drops, and you're like, yes. Finished. It's so good, but like the grind for that last item drive me insane. Drive me insane. Uh, reset. I am gonna need to empty my bags now. I think. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Best be safe. Dory, congratulations. Well done. I have many lucky dudes you like. <laughs> many farewells. May your feet find That's everything. Rails. <laughs> many Something smells really good. So I wore the coral colored mellow lipstick when we had the neighbors come over for New Year's. Back deck barbecue, and they commented on how lovely it looked. Oh, yay, Sika! I'm so pleased for you. That is wonderful. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm so happy with the result. If anyone is of the makeup wearing variety, 100% can recommend. We'll be getting more when next paid through Fears Affiliate. Would it be weird if I said that I platonically love you? Like, is, if that makes you uncomfortable, I sincerely apologize. But, like, I just, I have to say... Holy shit, you know, that is such glowing feedback and like, and uh, on top of all the pushing for the, the, um, the, the goals and stuff, do you know what I mean? Like you've just, you've been so goddamn supportive and I don't think there are quiet words for me to express just how much I appreciate your support. It's just been so lovely and I, I really, really do appreciate it. Ah, uh, but yeah, like. I have to say, it was, so that was a, was, that was a cream lipstick, wasn't it? Not the, um, what was it the liquid lipstick? I'm pretty sure it was a cream one. Fuck, I've forgotten now. God, my brain, my brain, it's trash. Uh, let me. I'm absolutely putting some fucking mellow stuff on my wish list, by the way. Like, I, I need to, because I just, I need to. Um. The heroic version, yeah, story. Kick its butt. Kick its butt. Have a look. Um, that was the blossom one, yeah? The creamy matte lipstick in the shade blossom. Okay. 100%. Ah, feeling is mutual, internet. No strings attached, pal. Okay, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. I I have one really, really, really big wish, hope, wish for this year. Pax. Pax. Because, like, since the last Pax that I attended, I mean, we did like a, I did a Monday night dinner thing. So like Pax runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Uh, and in prior years, I've been three times. The first two times we had like a meetup catch up thing on the Thursday night, which I, I realized was a bad idea because 
I want to be chill and relaxed on Thursday, have an early night so I can get up at the crack of dawn on Friday and get ready to be there at PAX when the doors open. And that's what I did for year three. And it fucking rocked. I, I got, we got, I got a toasted fucking ham cheese croissant and a chai and was standing in line in the doorway waiting for the doors to open with fucking fire everywhere. It was like intentional fire. Uh, they had doom on the on the big screen, so they had fire. Uh, and there was like beach balls and shit, uh, which actually, was there beach, no, I think beach balls were prior year because beach balls and fire are not a good mix. Uh, <laughs> and, but I was sitting, you know, drinking my, drinking my chai and eating my breakfast, waiting to get into PAX. It was perfect. It was amazing. And then we had a meetup dinner on the Monday night. So, you know, we, had Sunday and then I got to go home and just die on the Sunday night and then we slept and then I um uh, like we checked out of the Airbnb um I always check the bags into like a backpacker's place and they hold it for the day you pay them like 15 bucks and they just hold your bags for the day sort of thing uh, and then explore the city and then have dinner in the city on Monday I have a meetup and then go and spend and then go back with my dad he meets us in the city for dinner and then go and spend Monday night with dad um, that was kind of how it's been done in previous years. And that's how I did it last time. And it was awesome. And we had, I think, like eight or nine maybe of us for for dinner. We had K-Barbecue on the Monday. And it was so good. And now I'm like, how many fucking people are we going to have if we have a meetup at PAX? All of them. <laughs> All of them, Jas says. Like, I don't think we're going to be able to book a restaurant. I, I don't think, like, if everyone who has expressed to me, like, I've had quite a few people tell me that they want to, to come and, and go to PAX and that kind of stuff. If all of those people who have told me that they want to go to PAX wanted to also come to a food thing, we would not be able to book a restaurant without putting down a fucking bar tab or something, which I cannot afford to do. Because um, it'd be too large a booking, which is heckin' overwhelming. Just let me put this out there. Um... I think the best bet for that kind of shit is we are going to meet in this park at this place. Everyone grab takeout from your favorite nearby place and just come sit on the grass or at a picnic table and we'll have food together. Kind of, I feel like that's the best way to do things because then everyone's responsible for their own food. There's no having to worry about splitting bills. There's no worrying about making sure that the menu suits everybody's dietary requirements and preferences because, you know, there's requirements, but then there's also preferences. Um, all that kind of, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it might just be easier to, to say, we're going to go here, grab your stuff. And then after that, we can just kind of head to a place that doesn't need a booking or something like a bar or be luckies. Be great. But yeah, um, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. I just, I want to meet people. I want to meet people. Um, I tried on the red Paris and the pick and use the cream lipstick in the evening. That red looked so goddamn awesome on your skin tone as well. Holy shit. It's like your perfect red from what I could see at least. It was so gorgeous. I'm so pleased for you. That's wonderful. Because there is nothing worse than buying something and being so excited about it and then it just doesn't, it's not quite what you wanted, you know? I'm so pleased that it works well for you. So pleased. Yeah, blossoms, great color, smooth glide on, pretty good wear power. Ah, good. All right, I'm gonna have to put it on my wish list then. Oh, fuck yeah! I feel like you mentioned a cream barbecue place. Yep. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. It was so good, delightful. Um, and I have had a similar amazing Korean barbecue experience in Melbourne. Yep. I mean, Korean barbecue. I don't think I've ever had a bad Korean barbecue experience. To be honest with you. Yay! I got the two-handed mace. Amazing. So now we just need the leg guards and then I am done except for the tabard and the BOEs. Hey, Sunbad. If you want to tell me Frost DK was so OP, I'm like, I level 170 with 30k HP, can drop 4k with no cooldowns on a single target. I feel so left out. I didn't tell you because I didn't know. I don't know anything about DKs. But also maybe because you didn't ask. That is also another thing. Agreed. Pack a picnic, sit on a rug, no touch or awkward required. Yeah, and that's and if I can find a place that has some seating. Ooh! Grapefruit. Holy shit, that's a lot of ice. Yes. 
Was there how to get the straw? Yeah, I can imagine. I usually put the straw in and then put the lid on top. Look at this. Grapefruit. This is one of this is the newest flavor from Bubble Tea Club. And it is so good. It is so freaking good. Mmm. Mm. It just it's fresh like an actual grapefruit, but not super sour. It's like think grapefruit with a little bit of sugar sprinkled on top, just to cut through the tang. Like it's just perfect. It's just the right balance. I'm so happy with it. I did buy this. This was not gifted. I purchased the grapefruit tea when it came out. Um, Bubble Tea Club, I'm an affiliate, and they have gifted me some packs in the past. Like, they've gifted me kits of new flavors and stuff. Um, they did not gift me this one. I bought this one myself. I think that's important for you to know. Um, but I am an affiliate. Um, oh, battle. Okay. Um, ended up getting WoW back last night. Back on the grind. Ah, evil. I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you're having an absolute blast. That looks fragging delicious. It is. Can, can fucking confirm. But yeah, um, the best thing about, for me, I think the best thing about having like park meetups and things like that, everyone can bring their own food and drink. It means no like, no expectation of, oh, I have to spend this much to go to this restaurant or oh, this is a bit cheap for my tastes. People on both sides of the spectrum, they exist. Um, not having to make sure that they have gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, um, etc. Et like all of the different, what's your feet? Thank you. Not having to cater to all those different requirements because people can do what they need to. Uh, and if they have, like, if their budget is a bit lower, they can always, like, bring packed food from home as well and they're not missing out. Baby. Do, da, 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 da. Yep. That's a jazz tune. Um, and then as long as I can find a, a park type thing that has. Thank you. Yeah, bye. bye. That has. Um, Obviously, like, a spot to put a picnic blanket or whatever, but also elevated seating. So, because there are people who aren't able to sit on the ground, you know? So if we can find a place that has a couple of picnic tables, that way people who need to can use them, and those of us who don't can put a blanket nearby, so we're all still part of the same group, but everyone's comfortable. Uh, I think that's kind of a good thing to do. Especially when you're in the city, because you can literally grab anything from any fast food joint anywhere and do takeout and just, yep. Okay. Bowen, Zamdi, Kizo, Vio, Ju, Seeker, Neke, and Shadow. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Mm. Stephals. Go chest. That is fair, actually. I originally intended to be a blood DK because I love blood DKs and decided to mess around with Frost, and holy shit, it's so fun and just good. Oh, that's awesome, son. That's wonderful news. I'm so glad you're having fun. That is the most important thing, right? You're having fun. I'm allowed a fruit delicious tea too, so you should give it a go. Ooh, you should. You should. Don't forget to use the link. 5% off with code FIAMA. Mm, my autism can't handle the texture of jelly and the bubbles, but want to try the flavors. You can absolutely have them without toppings. You can buy the kits without toppings. And you can drink them without toppings. It does not ruin the experience at all. Um, they do have quite a few different toppings. So if you've had tapioca pearls and you don't like that or um, coconut jelly, they do now also have, they've got popping pearls where there's no real texture. You just kind of squish it with your with your tongue and it pops and it releases some like syrup that's like flavored. There is then the membrane of it kind of left behind, but it's not like, I don't know, maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it won't, not sure. Um, and they've also got white pearls now as well, which are... They're, they're a totally different texture to any of the other stuff. They're not chewy. When you bite into them, you bite straight through them, kind of like you would think like really like concentrated jello. Um, you, 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 like, you, you actually cut through them with your teeth rather than like chewing on them like chewing gum. Um, yeah, it's really hard to explain that. I'm bad at explaining textures, but um, it is very different. But yeah, if all four of those textures aren't your jam, you have it without topping. Have it without the jellies, 100%. The, the tea is still fucking delicious. <clears throat> mm. Have the best time, yes. Maybe the syrups without the jellies would give them flavors, but without the sensory act, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you can still you can still totally have the drink without a topping. Absolutely. Mm. 
by Jess, by Jess. She bubble tea. Yas. Yas. So for the for the fruit teas, the kits don't come with toppings anyway. You have to buy the toppings separately. Some of them do. Like I think the strawberry one, you can opt in to having strawberry popping pearls, but you can also just say no popping pearls. All of the milk tea kits by standard come with tapioca pearls. However, when you're ordering them, it's like pearls, no pearls, and you can just click the no pearls option and it'll drop the price for you as well as a bonus. Cause you're not, you know, you're paying for less stuff. <laughs> so, so yeah, but yeah, so every, every single flavor that they have can be ordered without topping. Okay, here's a question. I've never liked the idea of stuff floating in my drink. Like I hate aloe water and can barely drink OJ with pulp, but I do want to try bubble tea. Are there, are there are uh, that aren't like super, I don't know, dense or hard to swallow. Okay, so the the strawberry fruit tea and the grapefruit fruit tea both have pulp in them. Um, so if you don't like pulp, avoid those two flavors. That's strawberry and grapefruit both have pulp. Um, if you don't like the jellies, like the pearls and that kind of stuff, then same answer as Fedori applies. Um, you can order all of them without toppings. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by dense or hard to swallow, um, but in terms of floaties, those are those are the uh, those are the things. Um, the the fruit the milk teas sorry the milk teas all have powders like so the the fruit teas are all syrup based, um, and while you're brewing the tea and it's hot you just kind of stir it through and it, it dissolves and it's just it's fine it just dilutes the syrup and that's done. Um, the all the milk teas involve powders. So if you're, um, very, very, very rarely, I do have, um, an instance where, um, some of the powder doesn't all the way dissolve, and so I get, like, a little clump of powder, or a couple of little clumps of powder. If you're really adamant about completely avoiding that as well, um, you can just be more careful, and while it's really, really still hot, 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 um, add the powder instead of like dumping the couple of tablespoons in and then mixing it all at once. You can add it slower and mix it so that you're like one hundred percent sure that it dissolves, and that way you won't get any clumps. And then if you do notice that there is a clump, um, you can either add more hot water to dissolve it, or you can like scoop it out and and get rid of it. Um, but it doesn't happen very often. The one that I've had it happen more frequently with is coconut flavor. Um, coconut flavor milk tea, but um, I've sp like other people I've spoken to have never had an issue with the coconut one. So it might just be my particular like area and humidity or something like that, or it might just be I'm doing it wrong. Uh, but yeah, so you can always add the powders slower to make sure that you don't get clumps. But yeah, so I just said no, no, totally, totally fine. I just wanted, yeah, I wasn't 100% sure on what you meant, so I just wanted to, you know, cover all my bases just in case. But if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Um, or if you've discovered a way to rephrase what you're trying to say or whatever, then I'm totally happy to, to re-answer. Afternoon, Draz. Happy New Year. Not dumb at all. Exactly. Thank you for confirming that was what you meant. Agreed. I was curious. Keep that in mind. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all, son. Very, very welcome. Very, very welcome. I love bubble tea. It is my favorite drink. Bar none, my absolute favorite drink. Uh, I know that not everyone will love it as much as I do, and that's okay. But if someone wants to try it, but they're nervous about it, I want to be able to help them as much as I possibly can to make sure that they don't have a bad experience. You know, it's for sure, especially considering, yes, okay, I'm affiliated. So if you purchase from Bubble Tea Club specifically using my link and um, or my uh, discount code, I get paid. And being paid is nice. Um, it helps me, like the money that I'm earning from my affiliate programs at the moment is all going into my dentistry fund. I have $23,000 worth of dentistry I have to get done, unrelated to the fact that I drink bubble tea a lot. Um, it's, there's there's some genetic issues and some medication issues. That, like there's a whole bunch of issues that have happened with my teeth that have resulted in this exorbitant bill. Um, but yeah, that's so that's what that's all of my Twitch money, all of my all that kind of stuff is going towards my dentist bills um, at the moment. Uh, and um, like, I haven't actually had all the work done yet, and I'm hoping that because the work is kind of staggered out, I should be able to pay all of it up front with not, without having to go into debt. But we'll see. Like, no guarantees. There's always a chance that something could go kasplat. Um, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. So, yeah, it's... But at the same time, I don't just want to make money off you guys. 
Like, I want to make sure that if you're going to spend your hard-earned cash on something that I'm recommending and that I'm benefiting from, I want to make sure that you actually enjoy it and that it's worth your money. Uh, and if it's not something that interests you at all, or something that you can't have because of the, the sugar content or something like that, or because they don't ship to where you are, that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's like, if you want to try it, then I want to make sure you have the best experience possible. If you, yes, I often have the same. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my brain's are getting a gap of train of thought. Yeah, stumble around until someone finally understands what I'm trying to say. It's okay, I get the same. I get the same. And it's really funny because I've also got the added benefit of the Twitch delay. So I'll say it and I'll be stumbling around. And I'll be like, no, 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 no. And I'll be trying and trying and trying. And then I go, oh, this. And then I look at chat and there's like three pages of people saying exactly that. And I'm like, fucking brain. Like, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's wonderful. Mm. Fuck, that's tasty. Mmm, medical bill suck, man. I'm getting processed, maybe getting some of mine paid for. My nice new surgery by Fire Academy. University partnered with. Process of enrolling. Ah, oh, fantastic! That's awesome, son. Yeah, we um. I've had quite a few medical bits and pieces over the years, but um, it's all been covered by Medicare, which I've been super thankful for. Um, but dentistry isn't covered for adults um, who earn more than X amount. Like it's it's a it's an income thing, I think. Um, so, and I don't have private health insurance because I can't afford to pay for it. So it's just a whole thing, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, we had JobKeeper in Australia uh, at the start of COVID for around a year. And um, because of the way that it worked, it resulted in me getting a pay rise because everything that the government gave to the company I work for had to be passed on to me. Uh, and they gave them more than I was getting, usually. Um, so I got a pay rise. Um, and I, the first week, because I get paid weekly, the first week I, I spent some of it. I was like, yeah, let's, let's, get, a, let's get a pretty thing because, you know, I fucking deserve it and my mental health is trash because it's the start of a goddamn pandemic and all this kind of stuff. But after that, I pretty much put away all of it. Um, all of the bonus money that I was getting. I still, obviously, I had to spend what I would have usually earned, like rent and bills and stuff like that, but most of the other, most of the bonuses that I got went into savings, uh, thinking, this will be great, I'll pay for all of my dental costs out of this. Um, and I was like, great, I've got all this money, I've got a few thousand dollars, this is going to be amazing. Maybe this will be enough to cover my dentistry, because my dentistry back then, before the pandemic, um, the quotes that I'd got were, like, under 10 grand. And then... By the time I managed to actually get back in there, when but by the time I managed to feel comfortable leaving the house and comfortable you going to a medical place. Oh my prepared. god! Purse, hello! Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing, lovely? How is your stream? Welcome on in. If you're new here, I'm Fear. It is lovely to meet you all. We are doing some dungeon and, well, we're doing some Scarlet Halls farming. Um, <laughs> for transmog and a, fu and a fucking tabard. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, but yeah, so I, I was like, yay, I have all this money. Like, you know, I have enough to maybe cover my dental fees. And then I went and spoke to them and they got a new quote because obviously things had changed over the course of 18 months since I'd last got the quote. And everything was worse. Uh, so ev everything was worse. Um, and it resulted in the, the quote more than doubling. So it, it went from... Um, in fact, it almost tripled, I think, now that I, I think back to it. Uh, so yeah, $23,000 is what I'm looking at now. Um, but it's okay. I'm doing my best. Um, I'm saving as much as I possibly can. All of my Twitch income, all of my affiliate programs. So if you're buying skins from Stream Raiders or clothing, makeup, or, or skincare from YesStyle, or um, makeup from Mellow is my newest affiliate program, or Bubble Tea from the Bubble Tea Club. Uh, or games and books and, and software and shit from Humble. Uh, all of that stuff, all of that is going into a bucket that is going to hopefully cover my dentistry, but we'll see. Doing the best I can, and that's all that I can do. It's the best that I can. 
Uh, and hopefully I won't have to take any loans out. But if I do, hopefully they won't be for too much. Like, you know, taking a loan out for three grand is a fuckload better than taking out a loan for 23 grand. You know, like <laughs> anything that I can cover up front is, is better than nothing. And I'm so grateful that I have this opportunity to be able to do this here. Um... All my medical things have been broken toes from the farm, broken fingers from my time in MMA. Yeah, no, I have um, I have an auto autoimmune condition. Um, so I have cirrhotic arthritis. So one of my knees is fucked. Um, <laughs> and then like, uh, and then just all the other body symptoms with that. But I have a, like a specialist at the hospital that I see uh, and like all that's free. My, my medication is heavily subsidized. And all this, like, it's just, it's incredible. But then, yeah, dentistry? Nah. Dentistry's fucked. <laughs> dentistry's fucked. Um, thank you for the cast of command, Jas. Much appreciated. Holy raid indeed. I got a party down off the anything. Okay, all right. Has the two minutes been up yet? <laughs> all right, as it always is. Yeah. I'm googling, but cannot figure it out. It happens every now and then. When you're suddenly only able to walk in, wow, clearly hit the something key. What do you press to fix it? The same key you pressed to un to, to do it. Okay, so what it is, Seeker, let me show you. It's under key bindings. Um, it's, uh, where is it? Toggle, run, walk. It's on movement keys, second from the bottom. It's whatever's here. That's what you need to push again. Because you may have changed it. I don't know. But that is what you have to push again, because it's a toggle. Hmm. No, no. Prepare to be silly. I feel like with the urgency, the yelling was um was was fine. Like that's what needed to happen. <laughs> I felt like it was like you were yelling because it's like don't talk to me. I need to pay. So it's fine. Like that's I'm assuming that's what you meant. How are you? How is stream? What did you get up to? Are you having a wonderful 2022 or what? What's up? What's going on? Talk to me. Tell me all the things. Funny, because we're doing all the- yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, dental stuff is so expensive. I have my first appointment for my crown next week. Dental stuff is hella fucking expensive. So, let me tell you the story of my teeth. Hopefully that will give me the good luck I need to get these fucking paretic leg guards. Um, so, what I have already had done. Uh, or what has happened. So I had a, a tooth on the bottom here. Second from the back on the- on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, that had a root canal many, many moons ago, and that root canal has failed like four or five times, five or six times, I don't even remember, I lost count. But it's failed, so they've had to like pull the filling out, redo the root canal, and and put the new filling in, right? I could never afford a crown, so that's why it kept failing, because with, with all of the other shit that I've got going on, it just could not hold on properly. And it got to the, every time they prep a tooth for a filling, they have to file the tooth away, so that they prepare the surface of it to stick better to the filling. So every single time I got that redone, they were filing away more and more tooth. It got to the point where there was not enough tooth left for them to apply a filling. So that's that's where I got. That's I, I they, they couldn't do anything about it. Um, and so they had to remove the tooth. Um, but because the tooth, basically the natural tooth was below the gum line now, I just, all it was was roots, pretty much. Like that's it. Um, they couldn't do it in a chair. They had to do it in a hospital. They had to like do a complex extraction with a dental surgeon rather than just a dentist. Uh, and excuse me, they also, while they were in there pulling out my tooth, they put a bone graft in my jaw um, so that my jaw can handle an implant. So that's done. Surgery one is done. They've taken the tooth out. They've got the bone graft in there. It's now it's healing up. And uh, mid-February, I have to go and get some scans done to see if the healing has progressed enough for them to go in and put the implant in because it has to be solid enough because if they put an implant in a bone graft that's not connected properly, the whole thing will just fucking come out. There's no point. Um, so that's that's what my next appointment with the surgeon is going to be for. Uh, and then once they've put that implant in with the second surgery, uh, they put the implant in and then four months or so later, um, they test it, they talk test it, make sure that it's solid in there enough and it's it's all good and happy. And then I go back to my regular dentist and they're going to put a crown on top of the post. The po so there's, um, so the, there's uh, the gum line is here, there's the implant that sits in here, and then there's a post that screws into the implant, and then the post just kind of sticks up and is like a metal lump, a titanium lump, and then they put a crown on top of the titanium lump. Um, so that's what's going to happen there. Then 
I have a tooth up the top, which had a root canal, and it failed. This is the first time this one has failed, though, so there's still plenty of tooth there. Um, they've already gone in and taken out the old stuff, and they've put in some, like, antiseptic stuff in there, antibacterial, whatever, and they've sealed it all up. And now I have to go back. I think I'm going back in early March, early to mid-March, and they're going to take out that temporary filling, clean it all out of the, the antibacterial stuff, and then put a new root canal in, finish off the root canal, and then that'll be that done. Then I have to go back to my regular dentist and get a crown on it. The problem is the crown's not going to fit. This is a, the surgery stuff, two surgeries, fucking expensive. The crown, the crown, the turn, crown, crowns are obviously very expensive as well, but this is the big one. The crown's not going to fit on the top tooth because when that root canal failed, um, a piece of the tooth chipped off the side, a piece of the natural tooth chipped off the side of the filling, and that left a gap, and the tooth next to it, the tooth in front of it, <laughs> moved into the fucking gap. So it's a bent tooth now. It's like a wonky tooth. Uh, and so they can't fit a crown in there unless they move that tooth back out of the way. And to do that, I need Invisalign. And Invisalign is four grand. Four thousand dollars. Um, there's no, like, it, I, they can't do Invisalign for just one tooth. They have to do f the full tray and they can't just do one full tray because if you adjust the alignment on your top teeth, you have to adjust the alignment in your bottom teeth so that they match, so that your bite is correct. So I need a full fucking set of Invisalign for one fucking tooth. Yep. However, here is my silver lining. That's all the medical stuff that needs to be done, right? That's the stuff that is essential. I have to have it done so that my teeth function correctly and I don't die. Good. But because I have to have two full sets of tray, like the full, the full Invisalign trays, I've got a couple of teeny tiny itty witty bit of little um, cosmetic things with my teeth i'm talking like they're not even they're not like my teeth are pretty goddamn straight like they're pretty awesome but there are a couple of places where instead of being like this it's like this just 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 this, not, not like this just just the tiniest little yeah just the tiniest little bit of thing but if i have to get a vis if there's a line for there anyway i might as well straighten them up even more right I might as well fix all those tiny little imperfections that no one will ever notice except my dentist. Including me, I hadn't noticed. She pointed them out. I was like, oh, good. So we're going to fix those. And you can put whitening gel in Invisalign trays. Archers, attack. So Keep firing. after I spend $23,000 fixing up my teeth Let's so that they are medically sound, now. I will have the perfect gleaming influencer smile to show for it. This is shit I never, I would never spend 4,000 fucking dollars on Invisalign just to fix up the top. Like, I would never, I wouldn't. I absolutely wouldn't. I, I've considered getting my teeth whitened, but I've never really been able to justify the price. But at this point, like, they're going to give me the gel to stick in the trays for free. Like because I'm because of all of the other shit, they're just like, nah, we'll just we'll just give you the gel and you can do it at home. Like, and if, if you're not happy with it by the time your Invisalign is done, if you're not happy with how white they are, we'll finish you off in the chair. Her words, exactly. So, like, if I'm spending all this money, I might as fucking well. Um, and so that's my silver lining after all of this. Two surgeries and a shitload of money. And I'm gonna be able to smile with my teeth and not be uncomfortable about it. So I'm, I'm pretty looking forward to that. Did you hear something? And it should be, should, <laughs> barring anything going wrong, Not should be done by the end of this year. So I'm, um, I'm looking forward to that. No, stop. But yeah, that's, um, yeah, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit. <clears throat> Um, right, I'm scrolling back to catch up. Oh, here we go. Um, this is so expensive. I'm just going to unlock. Thank you. 
You're very welcome. Normally it's T if you haven't changed it. Nah, no, default is numlock um, forward slash. Um, T is not. Uh, I don't think it's T usually. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, posture check. I can do that. Oh, oh, I have a stretch as well. I should do that too. TT stream was nice. Oh, good. Did some lax and spent an hour skinning spiders talking about typical after dark topics. I love that. That's wonderful. Uh, sadly, my surgery cost is sitting around 19k because I'm missing cartilage, cracking the femur still after two years. Holy shit. My ACL, MCL, and LCL are all still a little uncertain. All three got torn because a goat started panicking because of a coyote ran past the bundle and slammed my leg into the metal stool gate. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully the academy can cover some of it. Yeah, fingers crossed. I hope, like, best of luck, mate. Best of luck. Sounds like a bad dentist. Oh, okay. Thought you still had pain. No, I haven't been in pain for, like, decades. Um, like literally decades. So even though the root canal failed a bunch of times, like that, that bottom one, it's gone now. The tooth no longer exists in my head. But, um, because I'd had the root canal over a decade ago, there was never any pain ever. Once the root canal was done, they, they removed the nerve from the tooth. So it is physically impossible for that tooth to hurt because there is no nerve. But no, I, I haven't been in pain for a long time. Long, 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 long time. It was horrible, like horrific when I was in pain. But not any longer. Not any longer, thankfully. It's all just like, if you don't fix this, like, you know, if, if, if you get a, a failed root canal, uh, it's not so much about the pain, it's more about the infection that can grow um, because you can't get the stuff out of there because you can't reach it with the toothbrush or mouthwash. Um, and so it can grow in there and it can start eating away at your jawbone. It can spread into all sorts of horrible places like your brain. Your brain's really close to your teeth. Um, so yeah, it's like you, dental work is so important because of how wrong everything can go if you leave it unchecked. Um, but yeah, it's not, not, none of the dentists I've had have been bad. Uh, it's just that like my body apparently hates being healthy <laughs> so it doesn't it just doesn't do that ever um but welcome on in myth my lord there's a lot it is had to get a root canal and crown in february my credit card is not yet recovered yeah no i'm uh i'm i'm saving everything i possibly can everything i possibly can ah uh, with fillings you have to be careful what you eat i mean with teeth you have to be careful what you eat as well <laughs> um, most modern fillings can withstand most modern foods. Like, yeah, you should you should be fine. Um, unless your dentist has specifically told you to avoid foods. If they haven't, then you're, you're pretty much golden. Um, your teeth are riding. They are, yeah. They just they're they're little bitches and need to get their shit together. Dental plan, indeed, indeed. You can work if they say no. I'm trying to hose you from a, what? Um, I don't know what you mean by that, sorry. Oh, I got it! <gasps> the butcher dropped! It fucking dropped. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that means that it's no longer Fear's lowest level, lowest percentage dungeon. That's awesome. That's fantastic news. I still feel like I need to get this last fucking set of leg guards, though. Uh, I just have two molars that bend inward and because of teeth grinding they have a lot of fractures. Yeah, I want us to get a crown now. I might be able to save the other if I get Invisalign, but that'll have to wait a bit. Yeah, for sure. No tabard yet, no. Influencer. Yep, pretty much. Second opinion from a different dentist. They sound sketchy. They are not sketchy, Myth. I am perfectly fine. I'm, I do not need medical advice from people on the internet. Thank you anyway. <laughs> um... Uh... I'm extreme, good lord. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, genetics for sure can play large role in dental health too. Yeah, absolutely. No people have taken great care of their teeth and still had lots of issues. Yep, exactly. And both my parents have had really not great things with their teeth. Like, yeah, it's there are 100% uh, genetic issues at play. Um, plus, I've been on so many different types of medications for my autoimmune condition. So firstly, autoimmune, my immune system attacks my own body. So that's going to cause issues. Uh, and then I have medication to fight the autoimmune condition and the medication has side effects that's going to affect everything in my entire body. So yeah, it's just, there's just this combo, it's a perfect storm of shit <laughs> that has resulted in my teeth being not very good. Um, but I'm doing what I can now to do, save what I can. Uh, and then from there, I just need to, you know, I also like, I've had a dental phobia since I was a very small child. 
Um, so that really hasn't helped. Like there, there were times in my, in my late teens and my twenties where I just actively avoided going. I knew I was in pain and I didn't want to go because it was, it was like the pain was better than the fear. I could live with the pain. The fear was worse. So, but eventually I got to the point where I'm like, nope, I'm good. Let's go. Let's get this shit done. Uh, I still, I'm still really uncomfortable with it all. Like I don't like going to the dentist at all. Um, but I get it done. Uh, and now that I've kind of at least semi conquered that fear, like I can get to the dentist at the very least. Um, hopefully that means that moving forward in my life, uh, I will be able to take better care of them and get the, the professional help earlier in the issues uh, rather than waiting until it's last second and I'm in agony, like agony and excruciating pain. <laughs> Um, that's you lucky woman. You look, I'm trying. I'm trying. Get in and deploy troops. Yes, less than four minutes left. Forever thank my dental plan. Wish more people had access to good plans. Yeah, it's uh, it's a thing. Um, medical advice. Just suggesting a second opinion. Yeah, I, I get it, but like, it's you're bordering. You're telling me that my dentist, my dentist is sketchy. Where this is literally the first dentist I've ever visited in my life, and I'm about to turn 32, that I've actually felt comfortable sitting in her chair. She is not a sketchy dentist, and I take offense to that. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, just just have a think about what you're saying and what you're insinuating before you go calling medical professionals bad. Like, <laughs> you have no idea. You've never met her. You've never, you don't know how much work went into my my planning of what I need to get done and then plotting out my, my, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's just, you have no idea. Um, so, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Um... Uh, you don't, you need a hoodie in your merch store? It's coming. It's coming. Uh, it's on the, it's on the list. Uh, if anyone else has any suggestions of what you might like to see in the, in the merch store, by all means, let me know. But there is, there is a hoodie coming. Uh, avoided the dentist for years, finally went back, realized it wasn't too bad, still get nervous. I also kind of look forward to it. I definitely do not. I definitely do not. I have a panic attack on the way, uh, and I have a panic attack while sitting in the chair. Uh, and it only semi goes away when they give me the gas. <laughs> Without the gas, I hyperventilate and cry the entire appointment. Literally, I, I can't stop myself. It's it's out of my control. Uh, I do what I can. Like I've I've got strategies that I use to try to control that kind of stuff and make sure that I don't move so that they don't like that they can do their job because it's important for them to be able to do their job. Um, but it's it's really really bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Um, but I'm at the point now where when something goes wrong, I call them immediately rather than putting it off for three weeks or longer. You know, it's, yeah, so that's that's it for me. Huge fucking improvement. Enormous fucking improvement. Uh, but it's still not good. <laughs> it's still not good. Uh, an extraction, a root canal, one crown, it seems like a Have it again. Um, uh, Udi! Yes, absolutely. I love my Udi. It's so comfy. Uh, Stream Raiders. Battle time. Uh, there are more people up here. Let's go there. Zoom! Do the zoomies. Really big one. Bigger ladies. Huh? Oh, yeah, they. So there's no. I don't have any control over sizing, Dory. Um, basically, what happens is I pick. Uh, what I want and what colors I want and then I like put the design on it and then they offer that from the smallest size that they do to the biggest size that they do. There's no like, I can't intentionally exclude smaller or larger people, nor would I ever. Um, but yeah, they, they have, they have a really good range of sizes though, like a really, really good range of sizes on spring. Um, and I've quite liked the, the quality of what I've had from them so far. So fingers crossed when I upload the, the hoodies, um, they'll be of a wonderful quality for you all. It doesn't give me the gas which I was expecting. I managed to do okay, even though a couple of fillings I got done were a bit unpleasant. I asked for it. I ask for it. They have it in my file that I'm dental phobic. Um, and so every time I go in and they explain, this is what we're going to do today, would you like the gas? Um, and when I went in for a clean, um, they were like, look, we are just going to do a clean today. This, these are the tools, like she showed me the tools I'm using. It's going to feel a little bit like this. There's going to be some scratching. Um, there may be some, a bit of poking around your gums and stuff. 
with all that information, would you like the gas today? And I go, yes. <laughs> um, I think the last time I got a clean, um, the last time I got a clean, I was a bit shaky anyway, because I'd had some other shit going on in my life and they, they could, she could tell. She's like, you seem a little anxious. Do you want to? And I'm like, yes, please. So they put the gas on and they did my, the bottom jaw, but they had a bit of trouble getting to some of my front teeth with the gas because it's a nose thing. Um, they had a bit of trouble getting to some of my front teeth while it was on. So she kind of stopped and said, hey, would it be okay if we took the gas off to do your top jaw just because we're having a bit of difficulty with this? And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. I was fairly woozy at that point. So, but they took it off and by the, she did it so efficiently that by the time she was done, the gas was kind of just fading off which was really nice because I was obviously breathing really slowly. I was doing my my anxiety because I, I have had panic attacks for years. Not so much recently, like I'm a lot better nowadays, but because I have had such extreme panic attacks in the past, I have my ways of coping with shit. So I was just doing like really like slow breathing and all that kind of shit. And um, and I got, I got through it okay. And she's like, I'm really proud of you. You did the thing without the thing. And I'm like, yeah. Like she's just, she's so lovely. She's an angel, honestly. Uh, congratulations to Fairy, Bod, Whiskey, Zam, Inquisitor, View, and Dew on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Onwards we go to the next one. But yeah, she's just, she's the fucking bomb. She's amazing. Epic flying rules look awesome. They do. They really do. Life is so much better with a dentist. You can put your trust in, honestly, forever thankful for finding a female dentist around my age. She's helped me so much, in, so incredibly much in my two years of work. That's awesome. That's really awesome to hear. But yeah, like it's it's the same with genuinely any medical professional. If you can find a medical professional that you trust and that you feel is advocating for you and your care, excuse me, it just makes a world of difference. An absolute world of difference. I think hygiene is the worst part for me. I don't like the feeling. Fair enough. Totally fair. Sounds like my hygienist. Super friendly and careful always. Making sure I'm okay with everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it really does make a world of difference, hey? Like, uh, because I feel like someone who doesn't seem to care too much kind of adds to the anxiety. So even if they're not, even if someone who's kind and gentle doesn't take away from it, doesn't soothe you, it at least doesn't add to it. Like, <laughs> it's, yeah, for sure, for sure. Ah, oh, dear. Hey, it does. Very convenient that you speak about teeth. Yeah, we've been we've been uh, blabbing on for a little while about my my unbelievable dentist dental experience. Um, hopefully, my whole journey should wrap up somewhere August to October is what I'm expecting. Like because there's like I have to wait this long to get this done, and then I have to wait this long to get this done, and then I have to wait this long to get this. Like it's that that whole all those waiting periods adds time to it. Obviously. Um, it should wrap up somewhere between August and October, but I'm not, we're not hundred percent sure because that relies on my body healing at the appropriate pace and getting appointments at the appropriate times and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see, we'll see if it does drag out longer. It means I have longer to save, which means more chance of not having to, to pay and uh, not having to get a loan, you know? Janice always hypes me up too every time I go in. Oh, that's so sweet, dude. I go back every three months to get my teeth clean right now. My next one's in Feb. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think here they recommend, what, six monthly for stuff? But I don't know. Um, I reckon I might end up going more frequently once everything's fixed up because I just, I, I spend that fucking, that, like, that much fucking money on them. I don't want anything going wrong. This year... Every three next year, bumping down to the usual six. Yeah. Yeah. COVID has really slowed down getting my work done just because they take fewer people now before to keep appointments spread out. Of course. And you know what? Honestly, I'm thankful they do. It does It does mean it's a little bit annoying. You have to wait a bit longer, but it also means that you know that they're taking this shit seriously and they're making sure that they're not going to go fucking anybody's lives up by trying to pack too many people in, you know? Uh, left wisdom tooth has been hurting since July. Oh, my head face has been wisdom. A lot of agony. I'm gonna eat chocolate again without being in pain. Have you seen a, when when are you seeing a dentist does? Cause that's the only way that pain's gonna go away, hey. Jesus. Lest you feel safer when you go in. Yeah, absolutely, Jude. I find that as well. I find that as well. Like I know that the place has been completely scrubbed and bleached <laughs> prior to my coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Ugh, I kind of want to stop and, uh... Mm. Actually, if I update Fear, because she'll now have seven out of nine, I think. What will be my lowest? I, um... Mm. No, no, not that one. Shit. Account mode. Mm, I mean, I'm not a dentist, but I could give it a go. <laughs> oh no, don't do that. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that scared the bejesus out of us. Doorbell unexpectedly ringing at 9, 10 at night. Oof. Yeah, that, mm, that always kind of like, who the fuck could that be? I'm not expecting a parcel. The worst is lately I've been getting, like, the doorbell will go at, at, on a Sunday. The only time the doorbell ever goes is if Jas has forgotten his keys or we're getting a delivery. Like, there's a package coming, and if there's a package coming, Australia Post lets me know. Um, or uh, if it's, like, food delivery or something, you know? That's the only time it goes. So when we're, when we're sitting there and it's a Sunday and the doorbell goes, we kind of look at each other like, what? It's Sunday. And it's like, package? On a Sunday? What? <laughs> Weirdest sensation. Weirdest thing. Um, I'm into a dentist yet. I read that wisdom appointments hurt just as bad. Uh, you should. You need to go, Daz, um, because wisdom teeth can impact also. Like, if the longer you leave it, if they're growing at an odd angle, they can destroy the teeth that they're next to as well, which is going to end up costing more and hurting more and all that kind of stuff. And, I mean, look, the wisdom tooth appointment may hurt, but then the pain stops. If you don't go to the dentist, the pain just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until you die. Like, and I'm not exaggerating there. Like, depending on how the wisdom teeth is, if it impacts your teeth, they can all fracture and crush and split and stuff. And you'll just end up in a world of hurt and infection and fucked. Like, it'll just be fucked. Totally fucked. The sooner you see a dentist, it might, it might cause a spike in pain while they're poking and prodding it. But then the pain will be gone. Like, that's what you want, yeah? The pain to be gone. The way the pain to be gone is seeing a dentist. It's the only way. Only way. Trust me. I, I, I had a feeling come out of a tooth and the tooth was sitting there hollow with nothing in it. Food getting caught in it all the time and the nerve literally exposed. And I left it for almost a year because I, I couldn't afford, I couldn't afford to get, get it filled. I couldn't afford a root canal. I couldn't afford a crown. I couldn't afford anything. It got to the point where I slept a total of like an hour and a half in a week and a half. I had to, I went to a den, uh, went to a dentist, went to a doctor and they gave me fucking tramadol so that I could get some sleep because I couldn't escape the pain. And I went and saw a dentist and they did the thing and I just immediately, no more pain. It was a horrendous experience horrible experience having a root canal with no no gas or anything with a dental phobia it was terrible like it, it didn't they they numbed it but the needles also i'm a needle phobic as well so it's double bad but the immediate difference in my quality of life was just mind-blowing the immediate difference as soon as as soon as the numb wore off and there was no more pain and i could eat and i could drink and I didn't have to, like, I was, I was getting, I was pinching off little bits of cotton wool balls and soaking them in clove oil and sticking them, tucking them into the tooth to try to kill the nerve, because clove oil is a neurotoxin, to try to kill the nerve. And every time I did it, the oil would leak and it would kill the side of my tongue as well, so no, no sensation or taste on the side of my tongue or that whole cheek or anything. Like, I was literally poisoning myself to try to get rid of the pain. I was always sick because I would under, like, even though I'd hang my head over the, the sink for like half an hour spitting out all the oil that was coming out of the, the, the cotton wool ball, I would inevitably end up swallowing some. And I was so sick for so long just because of this one fucking tooth. And I got it fixed and my quality of life immediately just... I know it sucks. I know it sucks. I have been there. Not with wisdom teeth, but with other dental issues and the excruciating... Have you ever gotten a piece of cracked pepper and placed it directly onto an exposed nerve? I do not suggest you try it. <laughs> Five out of seven, do not recommend. Um, it was, it's, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. So I know, I know, I know. But please, please. 
Trust me, it is so fucking worth it. Please. All right, I'm gonna stop ranting now because I'm sure you're fucking annoyed at me. Um, uh, turns out it was a local sewage freak. We have an access point in our backyard. They're clearing a blockage upstream, apparently. Wonderful. Are they gonna give you uh, a free canister of air spray, air, air, air freshener? <laughs> I think I would genuinely cry if the door were late at night. That's never gets people coming at the door. Does not compute. But I was so scared of the dentist too. I was worried they would need to take out my wisdom teeth. I got so lucky though. It turns out I have no wisdom teeth. I had two, none on the bottom. I had both on the top. Um, I had a tooth all the way up the back here that got a really bad, like they had to do a root canal. And when they went in to do the root canal, they found out that my the roots of the tooth grew like this. Uh, and I'm not sure if you know, but they don't make curved drills for a good reason. Um, so they had to pull the tooth. There was nothing else they could do. The tooth was fucked. Uh, so they had to pull it out. They did that. And my wisdom tooth has grown in to replace the molar. <laughs> so I have one and every, like I've had so many x-rays and CT scans for, for my jaw and stuff for the surgery. And no one has even come close to mentioning any issues with that wisdom tooth. So I'm good. For now. A TV that used to regularly turn on at 1am with no explanation. Oh God. Was it a second hand TV? Did someone accidentally set like some kind of alarm? I remember my first TV, my little a box TV that I had up in my wardrobe when I was like 14 or something, had a feature on it that you could set it to turn on at a time. And so I had it set to turn on at like a certain time in the morning to like wake me up or whatever, to use like an alarm. We just don't answer the door if we haven't ordered anything. Mm, not. We're in an apartment building, so if it's someone we're not expecting, we can just not open the apartment building door. A uh, new dentist has been made in my area. Maybe it's fate. The pain does feel like death. Yeah, death is not good. I advise trying to avoid death, personally. But yeah, look, maybe it is fate. Maybe it is. See if they've got an appointment for you. Uh, what ultimately got me into the dentist was start having dreams that all my teeth were falling out. I was like, okay, that's it. Time to go. <laughs> yeah. I had to crack tooth and expose nerve for two entire years. I was so terrified of the dentist. Couldn't chew on my right side for two years. Almost blacked out if anything touched the nerve by accident. It's just the most unbelievable pain. Unbelievable. The one tooth I got a root canal on has five roots, which is one more root than normal. Dentist had a hell of a time figuring that one out. <laughs> most off-putting bit so far, overhearing, well, that stinks being shouted by one plumber to another. Gotta be bad if the sewage guys are saying it stinks. We'll not be opening the back door anytime soon. I think that's a good idea. Wait for a really windy day or like a rainy day. With the TV, um, when I said regularly, I should have said irregularly. Ah, right, fair enough. Interesting and weird. Interesting and weird, right, okay. So there's leather, axe, they're all BOEs. And then the plate legs. It's literally the last thing I need. Fuck it. Let's get it. Let's let's just let's just go get it. I'm gonna hate myself for this. I like steak. Ah, oh, I should empty my bags. Oops. <clears throat> Fuck it. Let's get it. Is the mood? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's just let's just get these plate legs, and then we can move on to the next dungeon if the tablet hasn't dropped. Because we got we got Fia's BOE. The one that Fia needed, we've got that. So Scarlet Halls is no longer her lowest com her lowest percentage completed. Um, you know what is? Pit of fucking Sauron. Um, <laughs> yay. But that's fine. Um... I think when I head in there, I might do the three of them. Because remember, I kept forgetting and having the issue where I'd enter into the next dungeon and then zone out and then realize that it was counting as double dungeons because I'm entering two different dungeons. So if I go through all three of them and then get out and then three of them and get out, I reckon I might be able to beat the timer. Oh, I didn't fucking reset. I'm a noob. Look at me go. The noobiest noob that ever did noob.
who'd have thought that six hours of Scarlet Halls would net me 100 average viewers? <laughs> what the fuck is my life? Uh, <laughs> poor fear, indeed. You, come back here. Oh god, if the chab had dropped before the legs did, I would be so happy. <gasps> Can you imagine? Archers, attack! Another down! Another down! What Do down? You lie! Let none escape! Keep firing! Let you like to watch escape. other people suffering, it seems? The beans would agree with you, Sam. The beans would agree with you. There's another one now, too. By the way, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous sound effect. Did you hear something? I bleed. <laughs> but I won't die. What? No. <clears throat> no, stop. Open your mouth. How you going, X? I hope you're doing well. You're having a lovely day. Laying in bed, hope you're well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. We've made some progress today. Not much, but some. Excuse me. And progress on not just fear, which is unusual for me. So that's nice. <clears throat> tabard? No tabard. PP progress? No. Absolutely not. Never. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know what I'm really looking forward to? Uh, is the day when I'm doing, like, raids. And I get to actually go through all of my tunes and do a raid. And just watch the progress counter go up every time I do it. Like, that would be really, really awesome. Uh, which I'm actually, like, considering, considering at the moment, um, my lowest overall... Like each, so I have I have each individual uh, class has its lowest percentage dungeon or raid. And then I have the lowest total, like as in at the moment, it's Benedica with Vault of Archivon at 13.65%, which is nothing. Um, but then I also have like overall percentage for a raid and at the, or dungeon or raid. And at the moment it's Barrett and Hold. Of course it is. I never ran Barrett and Hold. Um, but it could be kind of cool to see, like, okay, which is it? Is it Alliance or Horde? And then take through those 20 or 30 tunes just through Barrett and Hold. Just to see if we can get enough to bump it up a little bit, you know? That could be kind of fun. <clears throat> Rather than just running a dungeon to death like this. Chocolates are raids. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have gotten a couple of new appearances. My fire. Us. No pants. What I hate is that I had like 12 of the bloody things drop on um on on other tunes. Like I've got one on Mogria, who is a, a bit like on Domitore. I, th I swear to god she had like seven or eight in her bags. <laughs> like why you know? Why you know? 
Why you know? Come on. Do the thing. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I love Scarlet Halls. I'm gonna be so sad when there's nothing left for me to get anymore. She said with not a sit not a not a not a drip of sarcasm. <clears throat> You're a psychology of the game, aren't you? Uh, look, maybe. I wasn't, but now that you say that, maybe I am. <laughs> What's for noms? Steak and veg. Delightful and delicious. How's it working? Uh, considering I just realized that's what I wanted to do, not sure yet. I'll have to see how it goes next run. But we will see, I am sure. We will see. I just realized, now that I've done... Scarlet Halls on Melissa and I've gotten her appearances. Her lowest is Sunwell. Which is so un- I- mmm. Wow. Okay, sure. I guess it's because she's not cloth. I love Sunwell. It's one of my favourite- like, one of my favourite raids. this oh it's hair okay what is this line i have on my face Ca oh shit <clears throat> catch a glimpse of myself in the camera get confused yeah i fucking love someone and no doubt i'm gonna have to run it endlessly to get the uh, jewel crafting patterns on fear love doing the dailies out there wasn't the first dailies i really committed to yeah um, there was a, a friend of mine in the guild that I was in at the time. Um, both of us, like, he was a healer, and I was not. I was a mage, squishy as fuck. So I'd kill everything, and he'd keep me alive. <laughs> so every single day we'd go and do all those daily dailies together. It was cool. Good fun. My god, Commander Linden, shut your face. Tabit and title of the Shattered Sun from memory. Yes. Yep. That is the one. Pretty sure it was just, wasn't that, um, like, rep? Getting to Exalted or something? I think that was it. I can't remember, though. It has been a while. But it was the Shattered Sun offensive, yeah, so it makes sense. Get through the dailies. Mm-hmm. Pick them all up in the hub, travel around the island, zoom back to the start. And at the beginning, there was only like a couple of dailies. And then as we progressed and did more and more dailies as a server, it would unlock more of the raid and unlock more dailies at the base camp. Hmm. It was good fun, that. Hoping <clears throat> in those robots. But I won't die. What? No. No, stop. Many fun memories. Let no one pass. Fake memories about something to do with boats. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. There's a day that we had to do a bombing run. Yes. On the on the um, dragon hawks. You on Surfang? Uh, not at the moment. I'm on an alliance character. This is a month old. But Saofang, yes, um, on my horde tunes, yeah. By the likes of...
<laughs> Sorry, just checking through your, your chat history dunks and every time you've been in here you've asked that same question. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. That's right. My brain's a colander too. I can't remember shit. Mm. And that's how you've reacted every time I've told you. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh dear. Do which is a bit easier, i.e. not expensive to move tunes on servers. Yeah, I- yeah. Occasionally they do have a, like, services sale where everything's like half price and shit. Um, but not super, super frequently. What- if you could- uh, if you could, Seeker, where would you move your tunes? Like, what- what's- where are they now and where do you want them to be? Or are they just kind of spread all over the place and you want to get them to the same server? <clears throat> mm. Give it another month, I'll be back. Ask the same question. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, maybe you should hang out with us more often, Dunks. Maybe, maybe it'll stick that way. Oh dear. Hey! Fuck yes. All right. All right. Done. Fuck this shit. I'm out. We're done. We're finished. Goodbye. Um, so that's... Let me... Thank fuck for that. I'm done. <clears throat> uh, so that says 11. So I'm gonna say 8 out of 11. Um... <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted to roll through all the tunes just to update just this Scarlet Hall's number. But then I know I'll want to update the rest of the numbers. Actually, oh, the no. Alliance. Alexia still says that her uh, that Scarlet Hall's is her lowest, and I doubt that. So I might actually roll through and just update that particular one. And see how we look. Okay, bet you alliance. Only twenty of my tunes are alliance. The other thirty are horde. So there's still there's a there's a horde balance. Like it's it's good. Uh right, so Domitore, let's check your numbers. Mm. There's no Horde one yet, and some of my regulars have expressed that maybe there shouldn't be a Horde so they can keep making fun of me with the Alliance one. Mmm! You got the Dabidori! Well done! Well done. Mm -hmm. There are definitely benefits to having your tunes spread out. Especially for things like the black market auction house and things like that. But by that same token, if they are spread out, you can't like pool your gold and stuff. So it's there are there are benefits and drawbacks to to both, one hundred percent. Okay, so Scarlet Halls is ten out of thirteen. The dormitory. Actually, let's hearth her because she's not. I'm not running this shit again. <clears throat> I just found a bubble tea plushie for House Slipper in the game Steam Workshop. Oh, that is adorable, Moo. Like, is like, is like, is like. Oh, you can't really see him. In. Uh, it's Boba. This is Boba. <laughs> and this is bubble tea. Okay. Hmm. All right, what we're gonna do, gonna disable all of them except all the things, just while I go through and update these numbers because it's gonna make it much faster to do. 
<clears throat> Me two months already missing our command for a hard one too. Uh, I have chains which completely disappeared. Not sure if I deleted them. Didn't think I did. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit interesting. Um, ah, well done, Dunks. Fantastic. I bought my Cloud Serpent off the auction house because it was dirt cheap. And I thought, yeah, fuck it. It was like 10k. <laughs> it's nothing. So <laughs> I just bought it. Uh, but well done for actually like grinding that shit out. Well done. All right, 10 out of 13 for Piroa. So 10 out of 13. And then we can log out and check Desi. And even know what realms they were on. Yeah. I make a sound command that uses the command horde, but make it another for the Alliance sound. <laughs> Evil. Evil. How Super Steam Workshop one looks exactly like yours. That's cute. That's super adorable. Did it for shits and gigs? Absolutely. Look, I know the feeling. I do all sorts of stupid shit for shits and giggles. It's great. That's how I got the insane title. Um, <laughs> all right, eight out of 11 for Desi. Yep, that's correct. Cool, let's check Jasmine. Here-ish, I think, is the most people. Alright, Jasmine has 11 out of 14. Now on to Kira. Cooper used to hang out with, used to call that shiggles. Yep. Yep. I have heard that also. It is a nice little, is it what a portmanteau? Is that when you like squish to Ezio? I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm not sure. Okay. Kira has six out of eight. Then we have Lillian. Indeed, awesome. I'm glad I got that right. So what do we think about the new Sunday stream times? How are you feeling? Well, this is five out of 10 for Lillian. Why only five out of 10? Oh, because like three fucking zone drops. Yeah, okay. And then Melissa. Congratulations to Musk, Zam, and Miko on all your bonus shit. Well done. Which made a bit for other EU folks too. Good. Good. Um. I'm gonna go down, I think. Uh, actually, there's another. Mm, might be better off going up that way just to get that extra chest. Um, there's new Sunday stream times. Yeah, we started two hours later, and we're finishing two hours later. Bringing it in line with all my other stream times. It's all just 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Full stop. That's it. <clears throat> okay. Scarlet Halls, 5 out of 10. And then we've got... Interesting. Where's... Interesting. I need to play different varieties of WoW more. I've been playing a hunter for over a year just to max him out and then for Shadowlands part two to be released. More grinding to do indeed, very soon. Uh, works for me, but then you start too early for me, so I miss less, fair. Fair. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, my stream times certainly work for some um, 
time zones more than others, but I am trying to bring it, at least bring them in line so that it's easier to sort of figure out. Okay, so that's five out of seven for Benedica. And then, oh, there it was. Can we jump onto Repressly? It was in Uldum. Why am I in Uldum? Ah, oh, because Wasteward, okay. Ah, uh, Wasteward, because I finished work at 2 p.m. Yes, the first time. They go. Fantastic. More for it then. Awesome. Works well for me. Good. I'm so pleased to hear it. We turned up at four today just out of habit. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, that's what I kind of figured out. Excuse me. I figured most people were doing that. Because looking at my um, looking at my stats, like my stream stats, my channel, sum uh, my summaries and stuff, every Sunday it would kind of, like, my most streams, it kind of goes, and then it's up there and then it's cool, right? And then, and then it's up there and it's cool. On Sundays, it would kind of go, and, like, it would go up like that as soon as it hit 4 p.m. So I'm like, why the fuck am I streaming earlier on Sundays if everyone's turning up at that time anyway? Um, plus, being able to say, you know, it's 4 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and 2 p.m. Sundays. Fuck that. It's 4 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So much easier to market. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what I've done. All right, seven out of ten for a Presley, uh, and then on to Alexia. Actually, no, let's half you first. No, oh, this is better. As also woke up later, yay! Because of Canberra time being different, of course. How's it working out for you? Well, it's my first type of my first day doing it, but I feel like it's going to give me more of a day on Sunday because a two p.m. start means that I start getting ready just before one which means I don't get a whole lot of time in the morning to get much done because a lot of big tasks take more than just a couple of hours, you know, like they might take three or four hours. So I actually have time to sit down and get shit done and then do a stream. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it'll work well. I think it'll work well. 30 on the Paladin. Yay, Shiva! Two more to go that I can start waking up to 40. I'm so proud of you. Look at you go. Look at you go. Ah, legging transmog. Fantastic, Seek. Congratulations. Gotta get some shut-eye for work tomorrow. I'll stop by tomorrow. Not a problem, Dunks. Rest well, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It's been a pleasure. All right. What do we got for Alexia now? Eight out of 13. That is a large jump. Alexia's lowest is now Gruul's Lair. What? These random ass, like, this just surprises me so much. These random dungeons and raids that need more attention from some of my alts. Holy shit. That's so strange. Like, there's no drops in gruels. How is that your lowest percentage? Okay. Oh, this is 7-Eleven. And then... And then on to fear. I'm going to stay on fear, so I'm going to turn those add-ons back on. I wonder, what is the closest Hearthstone point to Pit of Sauron? Scarlet Halls, 7 of 9. Amazing. So overall, Scarlet Halls is now 68.99% completed. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, Pit of Sauron. That's Wrath. I wonder why- is this all fucking zone drops? I'm gonna be really angry. 
No, bop, 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 bop. Okay, there is a zone drop in Heroic, but that's it. Okay. Probably Rathdal. <laughs> Let's find out. Um, because Zygo has this beautiful thing where you can, um, check. <laughs> you can find the closest mailbox, the closest profession trainers, the closest bits and bobs, uh, to wherever you're standing the moment you click the thing. Um, that'll be nice. Because running back out of, um, Halls of Reflection, that final dungeon out of the three of them, is just shit. Like, that massive run and you can't mount up and all that, it's just trash. Um, but if there's a hearthstone point nearby, I wonder if running back to the dungeon that way will be faster than running through the whole thing, you know? Like, even flying back might be faster than running back. Or it might feel faster, at least. And isn't that the point? Because if it is Dal, I can just, you know, use the portal at the end of the dungeons. Ah, oh, since Pit is by ICC, yeah. It might actually be faster to take the portal at the end of the three dungeons back to Dal and then get back to... <laughs> How horrible is that? Look at all these mounts I don't have. Wait, where am I going? Oh, it's around and in this way, isn't it? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, cool. So if I'm in here, no, that's not what I wanted. Where is it? This one. Find an NPC option. Innkeeper. Teleport to Dell. Oh no! There's one here. Oh no, it is. That is in Dell. Okay, that's fine. Cool. AJ Green. In the underbelly. <laughs> no. Okay, so that's. We don't want that. We want. We want Forger Souls. As much as I don't want Forger Souls. Alright, Dungeon Heroic. Let's do the three of them. Let's get through them. See if we can't get those um, BOEs to drop from Heroic. <clears throat> Unsharpened Ice Razor. And then the ridiculous amount of shit from the Devourer of Souls. <laughs> the Fortress Souls is 22 out of 31. Yep, that's not that's right in my tracker. My god, can you imagine if it dropped? Holy shit, I would lose my shit. Oh my god, it'd be amazing. <laughs> ah. Wouldn't it be nice? One day, it'll be like, oh, this is the lowest on my list. The only thing I need is from Heroic. I need to run Heroic on all of my mages. And literally anything that can use a one-handed dagger. One day, I'm going to need to make myself a cheat sheet for who can use what weapons so that I can check shit like that when it comes up. Not yet, I don't need that. Not for a while, but like one day I'm going to need it. And I will absolutely make it pretty and available to all of you, because why the fuck not? Druids can use daggers. There are many classes that can use daggers. Many, many. How 
dare you be casters? How dare you? I just realized, shit, my bags. My bags are fine. <laughs> Uh, surely you mean a spreadsheet? Oh, it will be a spreadsheet, but it will also function as a cheat sheet. Wikipedia has a page for that. Yeah, but that sucks. I want my own shit. <laughs> but no, I will absolutely probably use something like that and then just put it into a spreadsheet myself, just because I'm one of those. Make an Excel? Nah, Google Sheets. Google Sheets is easier to share with you lot. Uh, what is weird to me is druids can't use fist weapons, yet their artifact for Guardian is two fist weapons. That is- I thought they could use fist weapons. Hello, average. I thought they could. Okay, interesting. Are they actually fist weapons though, or like the artifacts, or are they like, they look like fist weapons, but they're actually something different? Oh, they could in Legion, they can no longer. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that makes I'm like, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, obviously, but um, there you go. This music, you guys, this fucking music. We love it. <clears throat> Devourer of souls, he of enormous loot table. Ten things on the loot table that a mage can use. That's just ridiculous. So can I just can't do a wield? Fair, gotcha. Okay. Nothing new. That's okay. Nothing new from the Forge of Souls. To the next one. We shall set up our base Um, same as Feral cannot do a wield over the Legion. Ardia's twin daggers. <laughs> but it's like one dagger that they put in both hands, surely. Okay, zone drop. Unsharpened ice razor. So I need to just check these NPCs. Probably not going to kill everything. Just need to find the bits that I need to kill. Ah, that's right. It was the shadow casters, wasn't it? Okay. Relish these final moments. Um, you will be so it'd be a spreadsheet. I mean, yes. <laughs> sure, yes, let's go with that. I like that. That's hilarious. Your last waking memory will be of agonizing pain. It's a shadow... No, that's not a... Oh, that is, though. Shadowcaster. Okay. Pathetic weaklings. Um, that's what I mean. I just call them Excels. Ah, okay, well, yeah, they're, they're spreadsheets. Um... Excel is just the brand name that Microsoft used for it. Look, I'll take it. Not bad. Not what I wanted for fear, but that's a leather appearance I don't have, and it's unique, so I will absolutely send that across to one of my leather wearers. Phenomenal. You will have to battle your way through this okay. cesspit on your own. Fine. Free any horde slaves that you come across. We will most certainly need their assistance um, in battling Tyrannus. We can, just can't do wield. Hey Kylie, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you going? Excited for the makeup looks in 2022. Me too. I'm like, I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I really like today's look. I'm very happy with it. Forge Master Garfrost. Ice steeped sandals. Can has please and thank you. No. Cannot. <laughs> Can mug a fist weapon and an offhand. Nostalgia. Nostalgia indeed. Um, so Pitasaron's 26 out of 39, which is what is in the spreadsheet. Oh, excuse me. Um, just checking for potential zone drop flags. I do love that it puts it in the tooltip when you mouse over them. It's super convenient. Okay, Crix, Beetle, Stabber, or Wrist Guards of Subterranean something. Moss. Neither. Fuck you. 
Don't kill me. Well, fuck me, I guess. I'll tell you um, why should the Banshee Queen spare your that's fine. life? Your pursuit shall be in vain, intruders. What for the Lich King has placed an army lair. of undead but at you my must command. Destroy Tyrannus to gain entry. Welps. So wait here and make sure. The entrance of my Lord's you will lair. find Frost Soldiers, Morn. destroy it, them. Uh, it holds the truth. No, none of these Frost have. Morn? The Lich King is never without his blade. If none you of are them. lying to me. I swear it's true. Mm, none of them either. Don't kill me. Mm, Jules can equip first weapons. They used to. They used to be able to, yeah. Um, are you going to do ICC? Not today. Probably not. Um, at some point in the future, absolutely. But probably not today. Um, but if it ends up being... Where is ICC? 79%. No, I won't get close enough. Um, so I've got 79.95% completion for ICC on fear. Um, so I'm kind of focusing on the dungeons and or raids that have lowest percentage completion first. And currently I'm working on one that has 66.67. So that's like 13% before I start looking at ICC. Uh, and there are so many dungeons between here and there. Dungeons and raids between here and there. So probably not for a little while. But that's okay. Brave adventurers, your meddling has reached its end. Do you hear the clatter of bone and steel coming up the tunnel behind you? Well, there are three things you can drop from this boss, so let's see. Druids can use fist weapons, they just can't dual wield. Artifacts were sort of unique in the way that they only counted as one weapon, but were actually two. Yeah, like for Loma Lawn and the offhand, but you didn't actually have the offhand on, really. gesture from the rabble. Mm. When I have finished with you, my master's blade will feast upon your souls. Die. Ah. <laughs> Nothing. <clears throat> Cindy? Nah, rhyme thing. Probably a sibling, though. This speech goes down really easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, ba back when it was current, he didn't. But, um... Oh, for God's sake, shut up. There's Cindy. I was gonna put me back, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. I remember that now. And then we go. And now it should be open. Or able to be opened, I should say. Fucking... To the halls of reflection, champions. Our objective is near. I can sense it. Open the gate, 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 open the gate. Fucking look. Hurry the fuck up and let me into the next fucking dungeon, please. Thank you. Good lord. Another voice sounds like that, yeah, right. I might have died from the blast. If it weren't for for Sylvanas. Unsharpened ice razor. Still. And four things from the escape of Arthur's. Ah, oh, right, I need to talk to her. Stands before us, unguarded, just as the uh, do it quickly. Come, heroes. Skip the shit, let's go. Should probably sharpen that, probably. I have to get it to fucking sharpen it, though. Once it drops, I promise I'll sharpen it. Mm. 
as you wish, my lord. 23 out of 42, yep. Soldiers of Lord Aron, rise to me. Weird mechanics. Mm. Just waves of shit. Me that easily, Just takes a little while when you're overpowered. <laughs> Spare the master's wrath. Your death will be no different. Following, <coughs> finish them. Get in these raids. Hmm. Now, yeah, good fun. <clears throat> I would prefer to find an unsharpened ice razor if you don't mind. Run to meet your but apparently not. Its bitter cold embrace awaits you. Escape from Arthur's has a very large loot table as well. And there are still four things I need from it, so fingers crossed. Oh, excuse me. Have you got a favourite WoW X pack? I've been asked this question quite a bit and I don't think I do. Like, there are so many expansions that I love for very, very different reasons. And I've never been able to pin down, like, a favourite. Um, yeah, it's it's been really quite difficult to, to figure because, like, you know, although I love this one for this reason and that one for that reason, like, you know? Yeah, I don't I don't think I have a favorite. Too powerful. Heroes quickly. I don't think me. I have a favorite. We must leave this place immediately. I will do what I can. To What's your favorite, Kylie? If you have one. Uh, least favorite then or same answer. Well, least favorite's a little bit different because I didn't play vanilla. I started playing World of Warcraft after Burning Crusade had launched. I had not set foot on, I had not set foot in Azeroth until post BC launch. So if I had a least favorite, it'd have to be vanilla because I don't have any memories from it. I don't have any connection to it whatsoever. 
Um, so that would have, like, that would, you know what I mean? Like, from a logical perspective, I think that'd have to be it. But in terms of the ones that I have played, I don't think so. I don't think so, because even when there were parts of expansions that I didn't really enjoy very much, there were other parts of it that I enjoyed very, very much. <laughs> so it kind of, yeah. Keep the undead at bay, heroes. I will tear this barrier down. Had the best time in Wrath. Beautiful. That's awesome. So if they launched uh, Wrath of the Lich King Classic in a couple years, you, you'd be all fucking over that, I'd imagine. Another barrier? Stand strong, champions. I will bring the wall down. <clears throat> yes, I would play that. Yeah, no doubt they'll get there. Just gotta give them time to go through the, the Burning Crusade path, but they'll they'll absolutely um, go into Wrath, I think. It makes sense. It makes sense for them to do so. Especially as um, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, like, I, I I don't have um, a source to quote on this, but I, I seem to remember a lot of sources quoting Wrath as WoW's highest subscription numbers. Um, but that being said, they did stop reporting subscription numbers quite a number of years ago. So, because um, it's not where they make the most of the money anymore. So, yeah, not too sure. But, um, yeah, Shadowlands did seem to pick up like quite a few people right at the start of the game and makes sense right at the start of the expansion sorry and makes sense because of the um like they made some huge changes uh to make things easier and more pleasant for uh new players new character uh, like yeah new players um so it makes sense that they would have had an uptick in brand new subscribers but yeah i don't know wrath will be interesting very interesting Wrath Classic. And so many people really do love um, Classic. Wow. Love watching the hardcore players. Holy shit. Like, I, I could never. I could never. I get so distracted talking to you guys and I look away from the screen for half a second and smack, I'm dead. And there goes, you know, months of work on a tune. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I enjoy being more casual, I think. But, uh, nah, it's, it's amazing watching them. Absolutely amazing. There's an opening up ahead. Go, now! Oh, this is- okay, we're done now. Um... Jesse, you what could be better? Oh god. Uh, Blasted dead end. Probably not a great idea to, um... Romanticize abusive here. assholes. Just putting it out there. <laughs> um, like the last few days before Kata hit Frenzy before the Lawmaster stuff changed. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was pretty, like, pretty bananas, hey? Do I get anything from this cache at the end of this fight? We're gonna do that after I open this cache. Fucking blink. Alright. <clears throat> every time I try blinking up this ramp, and every time it doesn't work. For now. His has oh my god, I finally got one. Battle. Thank fuck for that. Okay, so that's 35 out of 42. Oh, no luck is on. Than even the horde can rouse. Um, 5 out of 42. Alright, so Pitus Aaron is still my lowest, though, so I'm going to take this portal to Dell. Um, and I'm going to fly back, and while I do that, we're going to. Um, do this. Uh, in the middle here, I think. <clears throat> T 
234 allies. And they've got 324. Look at that. Beautiful numbers. Amazing. Oh, it's on 1 HP. Couldn't you just, like, wand him or something? I brought him down to 1 HP and then accidentally kept tab targeting to him and smacking him. He's got one of those, like, plot armor devices on? Yeah. <laughs> The Druid and Slave Pens, exactly. <clears throat> Question is something I'm so cool. I love the story. I can definitely agree with you on that. I love the story as well. Though, that being said, I also do love the story in Shadowlands. I know not everyone does, but I do. I like it a lot. Congratulations to Puddle, Path, Fade, Inquisitor, Seeker, and Sickness on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards we go. <clears throat> Place your units. Oh. Hey, I can level up my archer. Amazing. Upgrade. 29. Level 29. Amazing. New battlefield. There we go. Around we go. Yeah, honestly, I think running through or like porting back and running through like that feels a lot faster than running back through the entire dungeon. <laughs> as hilarious as that feels. Okay, so we can't reset heroic because it's once a day, so we're going to jump in on normal. And hope for the best. So this is Forge of Souls. We're on 22 out of 31. Let's see if we can get some more. No zone drops in here, actually, so I can probably just run straight through and ignore everything. Although we could get world drops. I don't think it'll take me much extra time to kill and loot stuff. Stunshin keeps giving me cloth as an honor leather wearer. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, they do that a bit, don't they? Just do that to get rid of that icon on my mat on my mouse. There we go. On my cursor. I think I would have loved Shadowlands a lot more if the story hadn't have been so slow. Love the concept. Slow? Really? Oh. Okay, I didn't personally I didn't find it slow at all. Um do you mean like the way that they time gated it? Like that you could only do one chunk of story every week or something? Or do you mean like the actual storytelling was slow to develop and stuff? Like Okay. And through here. All the way through to Devour of Souls and hoping for something. Just something. Anything, really. Would be nice. Good. Here. An explosion. Boop. <laughs> Who is hiding in the shadows? It's a dupe. Hope you're having a lovely day. I got the bag. Splash far enough? No, it does not. It's okay. 
Uh, length of time between patches felt like forever. At the time I was a homebody and didn't content. Yeah, fair enough. That's understandable. Yeah, it's it's a really tricky thing figuring out pacing of a video game, right? So what what I feel like you have to take into account. I, I don't work in the industry. I've never worked for Blizzard. I, I don't know. But this is kind of how the logic works in my head. You've got people who do nothing but burn through it, right? They, they play, they take time off work, they burn through it, they actually push, 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 and they get everything done. And then they sit on their hands for however many months waiting for the next content patch, right? Then you've got people who have full-time job, spouse, children, outside commitments, external commitments, and, and World of Warcraft is just one of many things that they like to have in their spare time. So they only really get a couple of hours a week to play. Maybe they have like time on a Sunday night after the kids have gone to bed where they and the spouse do whatever, like they do separate things and that's their time to enjoy to themselves or whatever. Uh, and they want to get through the story too. Fuck. They want to get through the story but they can only do it in that short amount of time each week, so they take forever, right? It, it takes them a very long time. They're lucky to be able to get it done right before the next patch comes out. And then you've got everyone in the middle. They're like, those are two opposite ends of the spectrum. Then you've got everyone in the middle. Some people who, who play through pretty quickly, but it also takes them a while. Um, all that, like, there's just, there's so many different levels of play. And they've got to figure out excuse me, how to, how to make it fast enough that the super speedy people feel like there's something to do, but slow enough that the people who can't play very often can actually get the content done before the next patch comes out so they don't constantly feel like they're falling behind. It's got to be somewhere in the middle, and you're never going to make everyone happy. Never. I do not envy anyone working at one of these kind of comp like one of these kind of game companies i just i don't i can't i cannot envy them um because you literally cannot make everyone happy so it's honestly i think for me personally i think they've got the pacing pretty good um for my style of play uh it means like i can i can get through stuff i don't burn through super fast i go through at what i would call a semi-casual pace i do it when it's up like every single week i get there and i do that fucking story content but i read through it all and i i talk about it with my viewers and it takes me a few hours in that week even though you could burn through it in 10 minutes it takes me a few hours to go through it just to experience it and enjoy it and all that kind of stuff and then when I've done everything, I've got all of this old content to go and explore. I have um, uh, mounts to farm, transmogs to get, pets to level, all that other kind of shit that I'm happy to do. But I know that not everyone enjoys every aspect of the game. So I, I respect that, 100%. Like, I know that not everybody plays like I do, and that's that's okay. Um, it can be a little bit sticky. Like, some people I know play way out of the story, and then they ditch, and they go play something else for a while. Um, and then they do this like every time and then they come back when there's new story and then they ditch and then come back when there's new story and then ditch and then they keep kind of rotating through like that and that works for them but it might not work for everyone because sometimes you've got multiple subscriptions you've got to pay if you want to play like that and not everyone can afford that so it's kind of, yeah it's um it's fun isn't it <laughs> it's fun um, I really don't enjoy escort quests. I agree. I do prefer, like, the, the newer style of escort quests where they kind of, they follow you at your speed and they'll mount up if you mount up and they'll follow you rather than you having to kind of plot along with them. Much better. Much better. Wait, don't run off. Why? What? Why not run off? For me in the sunset. I oh, needed content right chilling in my garden in Ardenwild, so not bad. That's that's good. Look, hey, at least you can find part of the game that you enjoy that you can, you know what I mean? That you can that you can get your teeth into. Hello, Sarum. Happy New Year to you too. How are you going today? What is happening? Oh, the escort quiz, right? Yeah, don't run off. Yep, correct. Alas, brave, brave adventure. Oh dear. Your meddling has reached its end. Do you feel the clatter of bone and steel coming up the tunnel behind you? That is the sound of your impending Heroes, demise. We will hold off the undead as long as we can, even to our dying breath. Deal with the Scourge Lord. 
<laughs> Such an amusing gesture from the rabble. When I have finished with you, my master's blade will feast upon your souls. Die. Impossible. Nah, I don't think I will. Rhyme Fang. One. Not a single fucking drop. Brave champions, we owe you our lives. Our it takes goddamn forever as well. Just hoping work. I'm just hoping we're going to start slowing down now so I can get back here more often. Of course, Saren, but that's okay. If you can't, don't stress, yeah? Like, there are always the VODs. There are always the VODs. Have you got that dead dragon mount? Uh, yeah, I think so. Which one? There's a couple. Uh, I have this one. And I have this one. I have this one's kind of sort of similar. But yeah. Don't just need an RP skip option. They do, don't they, Exo? There's um there is one in Halls of Reflection, but it's only a teeny tiny one. It doesn't skip most of it. Just some. Our objective is near. Ah, double speed rods are fun, especially in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> yep, turn for your into a chipmunk for your own entertainment. Oh. Onward. Oh, a stretch. That's useful. Oh shit, I had the blue voice thing. I forgot about that. Speaking of chipmunks. Uh, I didn't do No, I hadn't yet. That's why I just realized when I checked my redemption queue. Stands before us, Oops. Unguarded, just as the gnome claimed. Come, heroes. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs> with the dead. You shall have your wish. Come on. Do the thing. See, imagine double speed. Me too. Me too. Slacking in now it's lol. Need to get some dead dragons. Only have Arthur's horse. I've got Invincible as well. Um, Those, those dragons are from Glory of the Ice Crown Raider. Um, can you still get those? Soldiers of Lord Aron, or have they been your master's call? You will not escape me that easily, Arthas. I will have my vengeance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 25 player rate achievements and then 10 player rate achievements. Um, but they're, yeah, the, the achievements from ICC. Uh, I think most of them are solvable. I think there's one that isn't. That you need a couple people. You can't. I don't think you can even do it in a group of two. I think you actually need a group of three to do it. Incoming. Oh, what's wrong with your voice? My headphones. Exactly. Always. Every time. Every time. Uh, as you like data, have you recorded which voice gets picked most here? No mixed dreams and seems popular. Yeah, the ones that make me sound like a chipmunk are the most popular. Um, closely followed by uh, Fungal Giant. Because you, it, it's hilarious because no one can understand what I'm saying. Except, there was a clip of me speaking in Fungal Giant, and I could understand everything that I said, so I don't know how you guys don't understand it. I don't, I don't get how it's not under- like, I could understand myself, like, totally word for word, like, I knew exactly what I was saying. And it's not like I remembered what I said, because you know I don't. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know my memory's shit. But, like, yeah. Oh no, I wasn't speaking slow, I was speaking full speed, and I could still understand what I was saying. Maybe it's just because it's me, like, I know um, my mum's handwriting, my mother's handwriting is, um, it's almost a fucking game. If, if I get, a, like, a birthday card or a Christmas card, handing it to whoever's nearest and saying, hey, what do you think that says? And they're like, I know what this word is, they can't understand it, but I read it, and it's 
perfectly legible, 100% clear, but it's because I've been reading her writing since I was, you know, a very small child. But yeah, it's, uh, maybe it's got something to do with that. But yeah, no, I can understand myself, even at full speed, talking with Funkle Giant on. Like, I just, I don't... Yeah. I wonder if Jas can. Because he hears me speak enough that maybe he's familiar, like, he can pick up on the vocal patterns and stuff as well. Because that's, that's the thing, right? It's not just the words that are being said, it's also that I have a particular pattern to my speech, just like anyone does. So, like... If you're familiar with that person's speech pattern, it's going to be easier to pick up what they're saying, judging by context and the, like, the ups and downs of their voice as well. It's, it's so interesting. Brains are fascinating. Um, I listen to podcasts and double speed as I'm time for, so I can always interpret, but do get serious frown lines. Yeah. Like, what am, what, what is, hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, get that. Totally. Um, I can't handle listening to, ah, oh, podcasts. I need, right. Okay. So when I was doing my hair last night, um, you know, maybe if you've been here for a little while, you'll know that there is a podcast I listen to called Cults and I like it a lot, funnily enough. Um, and, and I, I, like, I listen to it quite frequently and I was listening to it when I was dyeing my hair last night, but because it's Christmas and because there's the holiday period and stuff, um, there was a gap in programming, which happens a lot for a lot of podcasts around this kind of time. They, they take weeks off because it's holidays, right? And what they do is instead of just not having an episode that week, if they're part of a production network, like Parcast, for example, they'll pull in an episode from a different podcast to fill the gap and kind of like cross promote and stuff. And so they pulled in an episode from Sinister Societies. Ooh. Ooh, I have a suggested gift on Throne. I'll have to check it out. Um, they pulled in a um, uh, an episode from Sinister Societies. And I was, I, I've heard it ads for Sinister Societies like a lot because I listen to a lot of podcast podcasts. And I, but I never, it, it just, the, the, the ad just seemed so scripted and so kind of not, it just, I don't know, there was just something about it that I didn't really like. But the actual episode was fucking awesome. It was completely not scripted at all. And the two women just riff off each other so naturally and beautifully. And I'm just like, I need more of this in my life. These bitches are awesome. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go check out that because it's a relatively new one, so I don't think there are too many episodes of it yet, but I'm gonna go like binge that, I think, when I go back to work on Tuesday. Um, uh, Mr. Five asked if he could have Santa stockings next year that were written in real writing, not in scribble writing. Mrs. Helix had used a lovely cursive script with his name on it. Aww. Poor Mrs. Helix. Or does he want Comic Sans? Okay. <laughs> Aww, Cadence and Modulation Speech is like a fingerprint. Yeah, not literally, of course. No, not completely and entirely unique, but close enough. Yeah. Need a podcast recommendation channel in Discord? Okay, I reckon we could do that. Everything I recommend is going to be true crime. Okay, just putting it out there. Everything is going to be true crime. Another barrier. Me too. Yep. Strong champions. I yep. Bring the wall down. I just I can't help myself. This is probably why I have a forensics degree. Because my fascination extended to the yes, I could do this at school. <laughs> I grow tired of these games, Arthas. No <clears throat> walls can stop me. Your walls can't stop me. As long as the champions kill the things that you're summoning. So there are three more items I need from Escape from Arthas. I think the loot tables are just too big, and this takes too long. I recommend the Anthropocene Reviewed podcast. John Green, American author, and his brother. 
Okay, what is it about? Fascination with your fascinations is fascinating. <laughs> oh dear. What's it about, dude? I'm curious. Yes, it, it is really about Anthropocene, so I might be interested. I'm just copy-pasting here. The Anthropocene is current geological age in which human activity has profoundly shaped the planet's biodiversity. In this remarkable symphony of essays adapted and expanded from his groundbreaking critically acclaimed podcast, John Green reviews different facets of the human-centered planet from the QWERTY keyboard and Halley's Comet to Penguins of Madagascar on a five-star scale. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Might be worth listening. I mean, hey, the, the beautiful thing about podcast is it's like a TV show. If you listen to an episode or two and it doesn't grab you, then it's fine. Just stop listening. Yeah, it's a book based on the podcast by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, it sounds like it's uh it's the book that's been expanded from the podcast, but if it started as a podcast, you can listen to it. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> if you listen to an episode two and it doesn't grab you, you listen to them all because completionist. Look, you're not wrong. Oh, no. Everything is alive. Not a true crime podcast. Everything is alive. Everything is alive is a series of interviews with objects. Like a lamp post, and a vending machine, and a pregnancy test, and a can of Coke, etc. It's Fire. fucking awesome. My god, it's so well done. And it's usually like, so there's the host who's always the interviewer, but then all these different objects are voiced by like different comedians and stuff. And they're just, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. And it really makes you think about the world from a totally different perspective. Just absolutely amazing. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. An army greater than even the horde can rouse. Ah, uh, that was done by Phoebe Judge's crew, yes, and the ones who do Criminal and This Is Love. I don't know. I'm not too sure, actually. I love Criminal. I haven't listened to This Is Love. I haven't listened to it because I just, I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be my jam or not. I didn't get anything from that run either. What the fuck is it with, like, guys? Guys, where is my loot? <laughs> where the fuck is my loot? Ah! Uh, isn't my thing. Criminal is amazing. Criminal is fucking awesome. And Phoebe is just, oh, her voice. Oh, her voice is just lovely. Her voice is just lovely. Um, review is the podcast not reviewed. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, made a DK because I wanted to summon the dead. And this is how Into the Fantasy I got even had a little speech bubble while summoning. I mean, lots of people do that. Lots of people macro in speech bubbles when they're summoning things or when they're casting certain spells and stuff. Um, oh, that isn't my thing. Love Criminal of Heard. This is love when it was on crossover. Yeah, it's for words, even if there's no evidence of such. Nah, it's yeah, it's fine. Um, the yeah, I heard. I think I got an episode of This Is Love in in the cross promotion thing. I can't remember if I actually listened to it or if it just marked it as played and skipped to the next one. I'm bad at podcasts. I get annoyed at the this week's sponsor is blah blah. And the 12 minutes before the episode begins. 12 minutes before the episode begins. You might be listening to the wrong podcasts, because not all of them do that. Um, like, I know, for example, Phoebe's stuff, like the like Criminal, there is a very quick, like, you know, before this week's episode begins, I just want to say thank you to the blah, 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 and now onto the show. But it literally lasts, like, a minute max kind of thing. Um... And of course you can always skip that if you so desire, but I usually just have stuff going as background music so it doesn't bother me too much. But yeah, no, not all podcasts do that at all. Um, by saying hi, hello TK. Hope you're enjoying some banana milk. Not today, unfortunately, not today, but it's definitely on the list for next time I go to the supermarket. 
There's a there's um at Woolies there's um like in the international aisle and the Asian food section they do like cans of banana milk and it's fucking good like really fucking good. I mean here adds anymore. To be honest, listening to things on double speed, cleaning while listening, kind of washes over me. Yeah, for sure. I know the feeling. Oh man, now I want banana milk, right? Right. I also feel like I should make banana smoothies instead of drinking artificially flavored banana milk. Um. But. That involves effort, so we'll say. <laughs> Look. Did you say cans of banana milk? Yes. I did. You are correct. Have I missed a reference to something? Whenever squids don't eat the fruit that is cut, I freeze in smoothie. Yeah. Absolutely, that is such a good use. Because I hate wasting food, fucking Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, oh banana boat, right, okay. Cool, always have a mix of frozen delights. Never end up wasting any anymore. That's so good, though. That's really, really good. Fuck, I love banana smoothies. When I was, back when I was on, like, full AIP, 100%. Good lord, then the amount of banana smoothies I drank. Because I had wicked sugar cravings all the time. And I could have banana and I could have coconut milk. And so I would put coconut milk, like I'd get um I'd get full cream tins of coconut milk and then dilute it so it's light coconut milk, because that all it's all it is. Light coconut milk is just full fat coconut milk with extra water. Save yourself the money. Don't buy the light shit. Fuck me. Buy the full cream shit and dilute it. Water it down. It's just like literally half the price. Um, tip, can of coconut milk, fill it with water, tip in again. Light coconut milk. Hey presto. Um, and so I'd do that, I'd, I'd pour the tin into like a plastic jug for the fridge, and then I'd add a tin of water to it as well. Um, and then, yeah, I'd use that and make smoothies. I, I'd add cinnamon, like a lot of cinnamon, and banana, and coconut milk, and blitz it, and I'd just, that was my, that was how I appeased my sugar cravings. I'm not going to say killed them because I absolutely still had sugar cravings. But um, <laughs> that's how I that's how I did the thing. 22 slot. 20, oh, they're unique equipped, not you know, because I thought they was unique as in you could only have one in your bags, but no, clearly not. I had so many smoothies, like holy shit. Um, my mate lives near a new items woolies where they have these American crisps. I learned to love red wine and vinegar crisps. Oh my god, yes. Yep, yeah, absolutely. They sound delightful. Uh, we have to might have to try that. Yeah, frozen fruit is the bomb. You stick it in a smoothie and it's like easy peasy. If it's if it's like creamy fruit, like banana and strawberries and stuff like that, add milk. Um, if it's not, if it's like oranges and apples and stuff like that, add apple juice or water or coconut milk, uh, coconut water, sorry, uh, and blitz it all up. Easy done. Hey, Max, how are you going? I'm splitting them with yogurt. Smaller squid thinks they're the most exciting treat. They're literally Greek yogurt and whatever they didn't finish. Yup. Yup. And if you then pour them into like freezer molds. Aldi has really cute ones at the moment. They've got um like watermelon shaped pops. So you pour it in and then you stick the stick in and freeze it. When you pull it out, it's got like the little dents for the seeds and everything. And it's <laughs> um, it said on the side, use any flavor you like to create watermelon shaped pops. I'm like, I hate that they have to specify that you don't have to use watermelon flavored stuff. Like, <laughs> but yeah, like frozen stuff like that. So good in the summer as well. So good. Lactose free here. Yeah, use anything lactose free. Like. It's totally easy. So many lactose-free liquids out there. It makes me feel a lot less anxious, anxious about food wastage, for sure. All fruits work when you mix in a lot of them. Yep, so tropical. Question mark. And some fruits like are enough that they don't have to. They they just add kind of sweetness. They don't necessarily add like a flavor. Yeah, just make sure some banana goes in for each added thick. Yep, absolutely. Banana is so good. Banana is so good at making shit creamy. Smallest had three for breakfast the other day. Perfect. Done. I mean, fruit and yogurt is literally what I have for breakfast. So, 
gun, you know? I'm so giddy about it if something crazy was happening. That is adorable. That is super fucking cute. Pathetic weaklings. Minions. That's super cute. Destroy these interlopers. This way. You will have to battle your way through this cesspit on your own. Location. Free any horde slaves that you come across. We will most certainly need their assistance in battling Tyrannus. I will gather reinforcements. I'm having ice cream for breakfast. Yeah, except it's uh, <clears throat> yes, ice cream. Yes. Ice cream. Don't kill me, please. I'll tell you everything. Why should the I say this with all the love in the world. Kids are so fucking stupid. <laughs> like it's just beautiful. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, it's it's just so beautiful. There's just one more. I mean, yeah. It holds the truth. That's so good. I love that for you, Seeker. I'm so happy for you. That's beautiful. Each king is never without his blade. If you are lying to me, I swear it's true. Please don't kill me. No. A fitting end for a traitor. Come, we must free the slaves and see what is within the Lich King's <clears throat> chamber for ourselves. Ooh, okay. Um, we're gonna do this boss and then we'll do that. Alas, brave, brave adventure. Enough of Your the yapping, let me kill you, please. Do you hear the clatter of bone and steel? I'm so angry at how few drops I've gotten from these three dungeons. Like, one drop on heroic. That's it. I haven't gotten anything else. Oh, no, wait. No, I think that's literally it. One drop from heroic. Like, fuck. When I have finished with you, my master's blade will feast upon you. Many angries. Die. Fucking nothing. Fucking nothing. Brave champions, we all are alive. It's fine. It's fine. A tiny gesture in the face of this enormous Here we go. I pledge that from this day forth. All will know of your deeds. Let's do a battle. Amazing path of light, you cut through the shadow of this dark citadel. This day will stand as a testament not only to your valor, but to the fact that no form, not even the Lich King himself, can stand when a lion can set me aside quickly. their differences. I That's the reason I couldn't ever install ATT. I wouldn't cope with the endless runs. I am. People have called me patient. People have called me persistent. I am stubborn. I'm stubborn as fuck. I will run this shit until it fucking drops. <laughs> I, yeah, I am, I'm driven. I am very driven. And I like watching the numbers go green. I'm not patient, I'm stubborn. Exactly, if you have endless runs, see your doctor! <laughs> oh, fuck. Good lord. Good lord. That's hilarious. Na 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 na. What do you want to drop? Anything I don't already have. Anything I don't already have. Okay. 
Congratulations to Moon, Jumpy, Miko, Sickness, Dunno, Inquisitor, Grubin, Shadow, and Channel on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, that's where we're wrapping up. We're finished for the day. Uh, let me... Um... Let me... Okay, we're gonna go... Go here, I think. Yeah. Hey, all right. Um, so that was a hugely successful transmog hunting stream. <laughs> I kid. Um, that's fine though. Look, it is it is what it is. Sometimes we win, sometimes we do not win. Uh, we got a zone drop from Scarlet Halls. Um, so that's nice. And Scarlet Halls is no longer my lowest percentage on, on fear. It's now Pit of fucking Sauron. So I feel like next time we're probably gonna be end up going through these three re repeatedly, which will be great. Fun. Yay. Look, we'll see how we go. Uh, the calendar it is here tomorrow is monday and it is shah farm stream it's the shah farm stream i'm so excited maybe we'll actually get shah to drop the mount look i don't think so but we might and that's that's a thing so join us tomorrow i'll run through as many characters as i possibly can uh, on wednesday we're going to play through a game uh, on switch called the kids we were um it's a little adventure game that I've been sent by the developers and I'm very keen to see what it's like so I hope you'll join me for that. Friday is more leveling 50 50s we are up to 28 28 50s my lowest tune is 46 7 I don't recall one moment let me check 46 I have two left at 46 uh we're so fucking close we're getting so goddamn close and i feel like we'll get at least one new 50 tomorrow maybe two if i get fucking efficient with it if i can get my ass in gear we might actually get two 50s on friday and then of course next sunday back to transmog hunting uh we will be starting with this these three fucking dungeons unless i decide that i want to take a different approach and do like barrett and hold or some stupid shit like that we'll find out shan't we we shall find out uh, but that is the week ahead. Um, special things this month that you might be interested in. Mario Party with Married with Pets. Um, so Jas and I and uh, Jared and Maddie, Mads, Yori, will go head to head to head to head <laughs> in a few games of Mario Party Superstars or a game. I don't know. We're going to probably just play it by ear and have some fun with it. Um, we've got Chef Squad. On the 19th, I know that that one's a big one that people are excited for. Uh, we have our marathon stream on saturday the 22nd join us it is a saturday it is 12 hours it'll be bonkers and uh wow secrets on the 26th and pokemon on the 28th launch day for legends of arceus so those are like the big exciting ones for this month to keep an eye out for um yeah so let me drop this in chat um yeah we're gonna do a raid. Grab your cop. Nope, I spelt that wrong. Let me add a D to the end of that. Pat, fantastic. There you go. Grab your copy paste. Thank you so much, Shiva. Um, grab your copy paste message. Um, if you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not subbed or because you haven't unlocked them with your channel points, either of which is totally fine. You can still copy and paste the whole message and then replace the Fiamma hype emote with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote to drop into Trud's chat when we get there. Um, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. It's going to be great. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you then. All of the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.